chat, can you hear me? I think it's fine. I think I fixed it all now. I think if I think we can just continue. We'll just pretend nothing happened. Hi. I think I look. Can someone? <laughs> This is going to sound like the most asshole thing ever. Can someone sub so I can find out if the Viduka noises work? We got a level 5 hype train whilst the audio wasn't working. This is a new stream. You know, we'll label the last stream the most controversial ending to a stream ever. It's all fixed. We just had to turn it off and on. We just had to turn it off and on. Chat, we are going to have to do the race again. I don't, did the mods refund the prediction? Or what happened? Because I, what I'm very tempted to do is just play through this at time 16 speed. I think we refund it to be safe. I think that's the fairest thing. I need to do GeoGuessr as well. And we will just go through this race full speed. Is that fine with everyone? I don't really want to sit through a race I've done lots of laps on. That in reality doesn't actually affect a great deal with our team. So I feel, I feel like just play through it quickly, right? It's the end. If it was like the middle of the season, there'd be a bit more drama. Obviously, now Max might just win. It's the Abu Dhabi Grand Prix. But I don't, I, my only concern now is that we were pretty much guaranteed to finish ahead of Mercedes. And with what's just happened, there's now a situation where they might finish ahead of us and we, we end up getting a uh, like fourth place finish. We'll hope that doesn't happen. There is a new prediction on who finishes higher. DR I will say, Pacher's up in 10th. Magnussen's made up positions too, though. Uh, Viva la Corona, mate. Thank you for the resub. So for Viduka. And then thank you for gifting a sub to Amateur Streamer. It was, it was this finger, I swear. Did the game crash? My or, my audio interface I use when streaming crash. There's been a car crash. Has Mick cra Who's crashed? What's happened? Oh no, Kevin. Kevin in his final race, minor front wing damage. We can't pit for it. Still a lot to play for. What happened to Kevin? Mods, I say we cancel the prediction. Kevin believers don't deserve this. Is that Mick? Oh, it's Sonoda. It's Sonoda. This is not canon. It was Sonoda, not Mick. Uh oh, I bet I bet everything on Kevin. Yeah, I think we reset the prediction because it's a bit unfair. Although Pacher's got past Lewis. Everyone like that. Lewis has got back past Pacher. We, we've got to do Geo Guesser after this as well, haven't we? We've got to do Geo Guesser after this. Still going for a one-stopper with these guys, so I need to preserve tyres because the safety car that came last time might not come again. Yeah, so for people who come in late, um, my audio basically crashed. I, I knocked out a, a plug that caused everything on my PC to die. But as a result of that, the game crashed and but everything broke. I think, I think in terms of ways a streamer can handle their audio dying, I did okay. But it wasn't ideal. Uh, and another gifter has gifted the sub to Jack is a bad streamer. Thank you. <laughs> Anonymous, really, it's generous. Yeah, I think it was the Steam VR stuff. I think Steam VR crashed with my audio, like, got unplugged. I'll have to look into that uh, launch option to stop the Steam VR stuff launching. So, as things stand, this is a very different universe, because certainly the Alfa Romeos are running P2 and 3. Our pit window's open, but we'll probably like make these tyres last a little bit longer, I think. Viva La Corona's gifted us up to Justice for Sonoda. It was very weird when his tyres went off. Oh, don't say no sound. Do not look, chat. This trolling, that's too far. That is an inappropriate joke to tell me. Sound's broken now. Not having that. No, that's not funny. That is not funny. I think deep down inside, guys, you know that's not funny. I'm going to pick Kevin this lap so they can fix his nose as well. Box, box. 
frames drop in chat. Stop it. Stop it. Why are you like this? Gonna need you to clap. There you go, chat. Gave you a clap. Kevin's on these to the end. He's in 18th, chat. It's so sad. Okay, is it just me or is this race very similar to the last race? We're maybe slightly higher up with Pasher, but both Mercedes are way further back. Obviously, Pasher's still got a pit. I feel like the actual championship probably isn't going to change that much. It's, it's certainly still comparable. Fight me, cutie pie. Thank you for gifting a sub to justice for Kevin. No, the, Kevin does not deserve justice. Schumacher spun, chat. Schumacher spun. Watch this. There's Schumacher. Oh, dear, oh, dear, oh, dear. I'm shocked. I'm shocked. I'm a Magnuson believer, so no, not similarly. That's fair. Although, Pasher's pitting now. I wonder if the Mercs are going to one-stop again. Oh, sorry, two-stop again. I assume they will. It's a race position gained from we'll, fi we'll, fi we'll find out together, chat, how different the AI is for the same race. I've not, like, done any restarts on races to see how it, like, can change. I'm a bit curious as well. Is that a new race position? Chat, I feel so uncomfortable watching this playthrough quickly, but the, cra the crash that we got through my audio issue... Has it's removed the emotional attachment to this race? Oh, Verstappen's locked up. We're just watching the Supermax. What happened? Oh, okay, he didn't hit the wall. Is that going to impact him in the championship? He's still ahead of. He's still ahead of Charles. Viva la Corona! Thank you for gifting us up to Denmark. Is love brilliant? He's locked up. They won't let him out. I shouldn't sing, chat. If I sing as well as I can, you know, it'll get picked up by DMCA and I'll get cancelled. I'm not sure who we're going to get to replace Kevin yet. But it won't be Mick. I can say that with absolute certainty. <laughs> Who's crashed? Safety car, safety car. We have a safety car on track. Gasly is out of the race. Gasly is out of the race. Ignore, ignore. Our tires are good. Other people might pit here. Energy's good. Gasly's good. out, chat. Uh, Kevin's already the boxed for a new wing. Kevin's already got the new wing. The crash. <laughs> Sorry, it's not funny when they crash, but that's it's just the crunching sound, and I'll just go straight in. Crashes are not funny, everyone. Crashes in this game are very funny. I mean, this is going to give K-Mag a chance to catch up with everyone. Sounds like someone's locked Vettel's up. locked up under the safety car. If the safety car's in this lap, our guys aren't going to catch it, which is a bit orcs. Oh, safety God. I found in general you do actually catch up to the safety car faster by upping this stuff. Oh, it's a disaster for Kevin. Uh, chat, the prediction did get reset. Oh, wait, Kevin's front wing didn't get changed. I thought that would get changed when we pitted, but I guess it didn't go through. That's my bad, chat. Normally, it automatically does those kind of things. I wonder if that safety car is going to help those guys uh, save uh, their tyres to the end. Oh, God. That Aston Martin isn't it racing. Rears are hot. Gubby. Lots of guys didn't pit then who probably should have done. All right, don't get too invested in this one. Mick's just been lapped, chat. I'm sad too. 
I'm sad. To, I'll admit it. I'm sad too watching him get lapped. There's been another crash. Strolls out the race. Bloody hell, let's kick it off. Lance Stroll, who was already lapped by most of the grid, has now crashed. There's been a crash. K Mag did deserve a better send off chat. I will hold up my hands and say that. I'll have it on record that I do feel bad that this is how it's ending. DOS enabled. DOS. Wait, people are pitting. Chat, he might be okay. Chat, he might actually make up some positions here. Kevin, how hype are you going to be through these pits? Is he going to get any positions? Oh, chat! He's in 13th! Uh, this is good. 67% wear is not ideal. Verstappen and Russell are probably going to have to pit again. What lap did we have the issue before, chat? Oh, my word. Teo. Easy, tiger. This was a round where we crashed last time, right? It was around this lap. Was it 43 we crashed last time? Pass with an overtake. We'll get to 43 and then that line, nothing happened. And then on the YouTube VOD, we'll edit it seamlessly and no one will know. Pacher's in fifth. Pacher is in fifth. Is Bottas going to pit again? What's happened this race? I've kind of lost track of strategy. So Max is top of the driver standings by three points. Ferrari would win the constructors as things stand. But is Leclerc going to pit before the end or is he going to run to the end on these now? I think our tyres are okay. I think we can get to the end on these. This feels so wrong, chat, just whizzing through it like this. Mercedes moved up a place. Oh, Hamilton. Magnuson Oak got overtaken by Hamilton. It's an awful day for rain. Kevin, what's happening, mate? Why are you getting overtaken? I guess they're all on fresher mediums from the safety car. Chat, we're going to put him on deploy and give him a chance. If you need it. Copy that. To be fair, his, front, his, his nose damage probably isn't helping him. Copy. Did we reset the race? If so, why? Uh, my whole PC crashed. Pretty pretty good reason to have to restart the, the game and the stream. It's only minor damage on his nose chat. He does, he's not gone full on Lewis Hamilton. His nose is still there. Okay, so Verstappen making that move, he will now be six points ahead of Perez. It's pretty similar in terms of the driver points right now. Why don't I change Kevin's nose? Well, it was minor damage, and I thought it automatically get stopped in our one stop. And I don't think he's losing enough time to justify it. Like, he's still lapping as fast as Joe. It's just a case of our car is not very quick in general. He's not even got DRS here. Chat is just a great big shame. I can't push him because of the tyres. I'm sad about the crash in the last race, but I think we just have to see this out. Uh, we did have spare front wings, but it's only minor damage. It's not losing us that much time. I thought it automatically get swapped in the pits, but I guess it was so minor the game doesn't even auto-select it like it would normally. Uh, I think we are going to do the Bahrain race this stream, Minions. Oh, there's another safety car. Who's crashed? What's happening? La late safety car here. This could be for the... It's Bottas pit. Bottas is pit. Who crashed? Crash. Joe's crashed. Let's have a look. So this was the Aston Martin. Is pitting Kevin for softs the, the player? I think if I pit for softs, he doesn't catch the queue, chat. He barely caught the queue last time. He can do the laps on these. The softs don't have enough performance increase. We won't catch the queue. All the cars in front of Pachera are running the same tyres as well. 
Pit for soft's got nothing to lose. We could we could lose um well we could lose track position. One last hurrah. Do you really want me to do it, chat? Thing is, he could still get in the points. I don't know who we're replacing Kevin with yet. All right, chat. We're going to pit with Kevin. Put him on softs. Uh, wait, we have no replacement. We have no... He broke the nose, didn't he? He broke the backup nose in quali. He broke the backup nose in quali. That's why we don't have another. He literally broke the back. He's using the backup and he's broken the backup. Oh, he probably lost another one in the practice sessions we simmed. I don't think it's worth pitting him then. He's not going to go faster. At least it was him who broke the noses and not Teo. Take Teo's nose off him. <laughs> Teo, can you pit, please? We need to borrow your nose. Is that a lock -up? Safety car's not going to be in this lap. Might be in next lap. Kevin should actually catch the queue, chat. He's caught the queue. He's caught the queue. Teo is going to be fed to the Wolves. Chat, this is a blockbuster end to the championship. Verstappen currently is going to win it as things stand, but Ferrari have the, the constructors unless Perez and Verstappen can charge through ourselves, Ocon and Norris. We could manipulate the race. Pacher, should I just tell Pacher to hold up? We probably shouldn't. Probably, probably shouldn't. Taylor, just pretend, act like you belong on your used hards. There's eight laps left. Oh, chat, chat. This is very tense for the drivers' championship. These tires are last to the end now because of the safety car, though. Hey, we need a good start here, Tao. The reality is that we will get overtaken by Bottas, Sainz, Perez, and Verstappen. Bunker S. No DRS for two laps, though. No DRS for two laps. We could be fine. Go on! Go on, Teo! Up the inside? Up the ins. He thought about it, didn't he? He really did think about it. Kevin, how are you doing? Oh, bloody hell. This corner's so slow in traffic. Ah. Oh. What a weird race this has ended up being after the uh, complete crash last time just need another safety car now right kevin's checked out i probably would check out as well if i was him we've all been there haven't we Wait, well maybe we haven't all been there but we've all been there like last day of school last day of a job you don't get any work done on that last day do you you're checked out You have to buy Kevin's contract out. He's got one year left on it, but it's only four million dollars a year. I mean, right now, the guys on the hards are holding back the other cars. If Sainz makes an overtake on Verstappen chat, drama. If Sainz makes a move stick here, the biblical scenes. Pull on the audio cord again. <laughs> Whatever so it goes wrong that I don't like, just unplug it. You can't push. I mean, Leclerc's doing what he has to do. Sainz has got past Verstappen. Chat, Sainz has got past Verstappen. There's four points in the Drivers' Championship. 
Verstappen and Sainz are battling out. Sainz has got to defend Verstappen. I guess Verstappen needs to lose more places for Leclerc to win. But Bottas are fresh softs. DRS enabled. Five laps left, chat. So just tell Kevin to retire. I can't do that, chat. Six laps to go. I'm too, look, we have to let him cross the line in his last race, right? It'd be wrong not to. How's the, uh, the, the constructors looking here? Ferrari still ahead of Red Bull. Red Bull really need to make moves on Pacher, but Pacher's looking to make moves of his own. On Esteban Ocon. The sad thing is he still thinks he's here for another year. True. Oh, oh, that, that's, that's Perez. Still a lot to play for. The, st the safety car again. This race is being manipulated, man. This race is being manipulated. Who crashed? Danny Ricard, it's been manip this race has been manipulated. It's not right. It's not right. We actually want to stay on high fuel mode here because we want to burn off fuel because it's so close to the end. There might be a one lap shoot off at Abu Dhabi for the for the championship. What's the championship looking like right now? So Verstappen is four points ahead of Leclerc. Ferrari are ahead of Red Bull as well. Chat, this is good for our tyre life. I'll tell you that now. What's happening? Oh, Kevin and, <laughs> Kevin and Mick are battling, although Mick is a lap down. All right, safety car's ending this lap. So the fuel mode and tyre stuff does seem to be affected, like, get changed when you use them under the safety car. It's a bit weird. Right. Chat. We could have a blockbuster end. There are what? Three laps left. Three laps left. Verstappen is currently the world... Drivers champion as things stand by four points. If Leclerc had set fastest lap and Bottas gets past Verstappen on better tyres, he's on the softs. Then Leclerc's the world drivers champion, I think, on race wins. Wait, chat, where's. Where's Magnus? Oh, Magnuson so far back. I was like, can Magnuson still get the points? Not really. The two tires do matter, 506 uh, or 506 Smith, but they don't matter as much as they should. But the, the compounds are quicker. You want to watch Bottas chat, honey? I'm riding Bottas. <laughs> um, that's I really like that. That with no context is mental as a sentence. If you know the reference, the reference is fine. But if you don't know, <laughs> if you don't know the reference, then <laughs> watch Drive to Survive. Oh no, Sainz has got past Pacher. Ferrari, advance the race position. Oh my, this race. I mean, gearbox warning. Is that Pacher going wide? Teo. What's happening now? We are checking, we are checking. Okay, Verstappen's still ahead. Ferrari is still ahead. Do we hold cars with Pacher? Do we try and manipulate the race? Yellow flag sector three. Who's had a moment? Good job. Sonoda ran wide. Never mind. Pass with an overtake there. Oh, Magnussen got Sonoda. Have that. I'm trying to back Max up in, into Bottas.
I'm trying to manipulate the race. Although we don't have DRS here. Teo, go right. Teo, go right. We can get Ferrari another championship. I just want the world to burn. It's not, not even like I dislike Max. I just like drama. Oh, there's no DRS. Correct. I forgot that we've had another safety car. It's been happening so much. As things stand, Verstappen will hold on by four points. Why do I feel like there's going to be a crash on the last lap? Is anyone else nervous? I have nothing on the line. I'm just watching it. DRS enabled. No, DRS enabled. Valtteri. Valtteri. Mon ami. Mon frere. Welcome to it. Gobby. This will be the last lap. Last lap. Mena, Valtteri. Mena! Mena, 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 Mena. Good luck. Good luck. Good luck. Is he actually going to do anything? All we need is a lock up here now and a crash. Push, Kevin. Push. Good job. He's got him. He's overtaken Hamilton. Wait. He didn't overtake. I've been lied to. Oh my god! Oh my god! Bottas is through! Max Verstappen is down to eighth! Verstappen still has the championship as things stand. But Russell could still overtake him. A position gained for Alfa Romeo. It's unbelievable. Right, now we just park it. Everything down to try and slow down Max. Come on, George! George, have a go. Push, George, push. Ah, oh. ah! Oh, I tried to manipulate this race. Two points in it. Two points in it. That's Leclerc. <laughs> Leclerc's missed out. We tried. I tried. To, I tried to. I tried to help Charles. <laughs> This race has been a mess, hasn't it? The, should we just pretend this race never happened? Between the stream dying us, losing the initial race, and then we just descending that race into can we get Leclerc a championship? Still a great performance by Pichere, by the way. Max Verstappen, you are the world champion! The world champion! Etc. Um, well done, Max. Round of applause for Max. And, uh, look, just, I tried. We made it close. It was a bit like Hamilton when he had to get Rosberg to finish um, third. And they were running one, two, and basically Hamilton just started breaking everyone on the last few laps. Um, what was the gap there? 21 points. Oh, that was a crazy race. George Russell made up 10 places. Fair play. Oh, Pache got a development point. Wait, where did Magnussen finish? He didn't get any points. Doesn't matter, does it? Magnussen finished one point behind Hamilton. Oh, chat. Before we do anything, let's just let's just make sure the game is safe because I'm not doing that race a third time. We didn't we didn't get sacked. We got like forty million. And Pache has two points. Chat. What are we putting them in? Reactions? His actual race craft isn't very good also. We're not going to have a race for a little while. We are now into the off-season, everyone. This is it's a world of unknown. What do we reckon? Two points. We could start putting them into his race craft. But I feel like this stuff is more important. Oh, yeah. We've got Geo Guesses to do as well. Uh, I think accuracy. I think accuracy. Also, Tao's 20 now. That's nice, isn't it? He, he's going to be good. He has the makings of a good drive. 
Uh, a good driver, good driver. Okay, chat. I made a promise to the chat. And, um, you know, we, we, we keep our promises here. We're doing a game of GeoGuessr. We're doing a game of GeoGuessr. Because someone redeemed it. We have a channel point redemption for GeoGuessr. It very rarely happens. But it's happened now, right? We can do a live challenge, but that is only up to... It's only up to 100 people. Who was it who redeemed the GeoGuessr? Because I feel like I should whisper them the link before everyone else. So that they definitely get into the game. Because it would be a bit sad if they don't get into the game. I'm scrolling through now, trying to find it in my activity list. It was Robin55. It was you, Robin. Robin, I am going to whisper you the link on uh, here now. Does that work? That's not working. I need to I need to have Twitch open uh, in browser to whisper you. One second. Right. Well, can, can you write again, please, mate? I've lost you. I've lost you in the chat. Chat, stop writing. Chat, make my job easier. Stop. There we go. Thank you, Robin. Right, Robin, that is the GeoGuessr link. Chat, are you are you guys ready for GeoGuessr chat? I guess that's the next question, really, isn't it? I I have to pay for GeoGuessr Pro monthly so that we can do this once a month. And then after this, we'll be doing all the preseason stuff in the start of the next season. Robin, are you in the game? I can't see if you're in the game or not. People are just writing Kev out. I'll, I'll be putting the link in the chat in a second, so get ready. Right, Robin, I'm going to give you... Robin, I'm going to have to give you a certain amount of time here and then I've got to just put it in the chat. I can't pause the stream forever. Winner picks next driver. Absolutely not. Absolutely not. Winner does not pick next driver. This isn't Twitch Plays F1 Manager. This is Work the Space Plays F1 Manager and you all watch. <laughs> I should name the stream that. Can I update the stream name chat to just this is this is not shit. Twitch plays F1 manager. <laughs> right, I'm putting the link in the chat. I'm hoping that Robin made it in, but I, I can't delay the stream for a GeoGuessr game. Right, chat, link is in the chat. Get in if you can. Oh my god, there's a there's a there's a how many people just joined instantly? Also, I have no idea if this is if this scene is now going to work. So we'll we'll find out more stuff together. Are you ready, chat? If I hit this button, does it work? Or is it going to go? Is it going to go to the right monitor? It's not gone to the right monitor. I knew that was going to happen. I literally knew it wasn't going to go to the right monitor. Right. Uh, how do I do this? I get. I guess I can just play GeoGuessr on the other monitor. That's the easiest way to solve this problem. Right. Chat, are you ready? Are we, are we ready? Did it, okay, the, I think the lobby's full already. Bloody hell, you guys are quick. Okay, you've got a minute and a half. You can see the rules there. Let's go. Oh, I hope you guys can see the sound. Okay. Where are we in the world, chat? Hmm. Now, chat, chat's probably going to cheat here. English. Oh, I can't go that way. Oh, bloody hell. There's a road sign. Get me to the roads. I've got a minute and a half. That... Wait, is that Zan... Is that Zanvoort? Is this... Is this the Netherlands? This is the Netherlands! I never would have believed that. And if Zanvoort's on the map, then it's up here somewhere, right? Where's Zanvoort? Zanvoort's, like, on the coast. But where? Okay, Groningen, Horn. Where is Horn? 
I should click somewhere so it's on the map. Horn's there. Okay, so Horn is 13 kilometers away. We're on the A7, so we're probably on this road here. Is there a pet? Oh, my God, chat. Oh, my God. How close was I? How close was I? Oh, we have to wait for the others to guess. You can't cheat. That's good. I think I've just played a blinder there. I think I've done well there. I hope that's the right petrol station. I had a bit more time. There's 10 seconds. I could have... Re Was it a beep? I wanted an... What do you mean there's two different state gas stations? Oh. I've still done well there. I've still done a solid. It's a good start for work the space. Where am I? 11th out of 100. That's respectable. Oh, bloody hell. Where are we now? Uh, hmm. I'm thinking Japan. This definitely looks Japanese suburby to me. But where in Japan? But this is definitely Japan. I, I, I say this with so much confidence. That's Jap Japanese, surely. But what city are we in here? Oh, Taiwan. We're in Taiwan. I take it all back. I didn't know Taiwan was on Google Maps. I did think looking at the characters that they look Chinese, but I'd committed to the Japanese guess initially off the architecture. Right, Taiwan. Where are we? I wish I knew Taiwanese telephone number area codes. I said China there, didn't I, chat? I meant the Chinese characters. Tai Chung Metro. Tai Chung? Tai Chung. Tai Chung. Where the. Art Street! That doesn't help me. Tai Chung. Where are the. Where the pissing hell is Tai Chung? It could be anywhere. Tai Chung. I mean, everyone in chat is definitely just Googling Tai Chung. Wait, Tai Chung! And Central Park is one. It could be a different garden. Go there. That looks good to me. That's okay. Oh, people got way closer. Googlers. I'm in sick flow. I'm in sick. That's res is that respectable chat? As I think I've done okay there. Oh, pissing hell. The music in this game, by the way, really makes it... I mean, it could be England. Although the roads are too well maintained. They're driving on the... They're driving on the right, too. Somewhere in Europe. That looks Polish, maybe? Something... It's got like an E with a squiggle on top. Where where do you get E's with squiggle? We're in the middle of pissing nowhere here, aren't we? Where am I? Oh, sign... That is Polish. No other language has that many Z's and V's in the same sentence. Right. Oh, my God. Chat saying Lithuania. Chat, could it be Lithuania? I mean, it could be. What if I go on the Polish-Lithuania border? Because I reckon that car was had Polish letters on. So if I go like... Here, like one of these roads. This is a bit where... Oh, God. Why is this road so long, chat? It's a pissing long road. Ah. Oh. How do people get that close? They must be Googling. They must be. Where am I? I'm not in the top five. I'm going to lose my job. Okay. Lovely fences. Nicely maintained roads. Old cars. Looks quite suburby. Nice houses. Any distinctual architectural features? Not really. 
by Latvia. Lat Latvia. Good eyes, Jack. People will have cheated on that. People will have cheated on that. 100% people didn't, wouldn't have spotted that. They call me Eagle Eyes the Space. This looks quite nice. Look at these houses. Look at that hanging basket. Whoever that is, dangle your hanging basket with pride. I have no idea where we are. I feel like we must be quite near a city because the roads and stuff are actually maintained quite well. And it seems like there's quite a lot of buildings. I feel like we could be kind of suburby, like in Versi. Versi. Someone's blurred out the house. Okay. He definitely, he looks Latvian. Latvian forearms. I'd recognize them anywhere. Very distinct. Oh, of course now we find the main road. Why is someone from Latvia in Estonia? Uh, that bike walking was definitely Latvian too. Googlers, right? Chat Googlers. Googlers, right? Get me out of here. Get me out of here. I've got one more. Who goes on holiday from Latvia to Estonia? I'm actually, I'm sure. It's... Oh, for. F There's just ducks. There's just ducks. How am I meant to. Okay. Hmm, are those mallards? No. Hmm. Oh, what is, is this a road? Does this even count as a road? Why are we, I feel like we've discovered some kind of duck civilization. I'll be honest, I don't feel like I'm meant to discover this. This is a tour guide thing. This is somewhere you go on holiday and you drive around and look at the ducks. Oh my God. How have I got here? They're just everywhere. It's the coast somewhere. The music really isn't helping my mood right now. Well, how many of these buggers are there? That water's very blue. Is that a wall? That's like a sea barrier. Where do you have sea barriers, though? I have no... Does anyone know where we are? If anyone gets this chat, they have cheated. They're, or they are a duck. Or they've been here on holiday. I should click somewhere. We could be literally anywhere in the world. Literally anywhere. Nova Scotia. No, no, Nova, it's Nova Scotia. Okay, did anyone get that? Nah, nah, nah. They have some kind of cheat. They have logged in in two browsers. The only way that you could ever get that is if you connected to the game in two browsers, did the guess with one. Nah, nah, man, not having that. Not having that. No, no shot someone goes, it's this island here. If you are one of these people, please tell me how you get this good at GeoGuess, sir. No, that that they are cheating, right, chat? They are. They must be cheat. That there's there's so many islands. I want to go to this place though and look at the ducks. I will say that now. I do want to go here and look at the ducks. Where did I finish? Thirtieth. I'll take that. I'll take that. Chat, that is no shot. I want to go there and see the ducks, but where did other people guess? Did anyone guess worse than me? Doesn't doesn't look like it. Right, back to F1, man. We've had our foot. I'm going back to F1. I hate Geo guess. I'm removing that as a channel point redemption. Who the who the hell decided that was a good idea? I'm so angry. I'm so, I'm so angry about that. I mean, congratulations if you won and didn't cheat. I'm just salty, okay? I came top 30%. I feel like we should probably do another tweet considering the stream went down and we're about to fire Kevin. And Kevin, it's quite an important moment, I feel like. 
Uh, what do we tweet out? Season is over. Now to fire Kevin. That, that sounds good to me. All right, fire Kev. I think it's a bit more personal if we just call him Kev. Getting rid of him, chat. Okay, but we have our end of season review, right? Congratulations to Ferrari. So Ferrari won the constructors, but Max won the drivers by two points. Good season. Thank you for not firing me. So if I'm not mistaken, the Mick Schumacher scouting is... Re oh, he's got another year, chat. That's great news. Mick has another year at Williams. George Russell is very, very cheap. He's on two million a year. And Kevin Magnussen is on four million a year. What? What face? Okay, these are the best drivers apparently available for negotiation. I do like Lando as an option. We have to get to the end of the season. There's like an end of season bit where it kind of updates all your reps and stuff. Okay. Secure until 2024. <laughs> Absolutely not. His position is anything but secure. I might look to replace Becca chap. It might be time to replace Becca. I feel, feel like we could get in a better race engineer. I feel like I want to wait for the end of season tick over date, which is this bit here. We did it. We kept our job. Round of applause for me. Uh, wait, did our team rating not go up? That's, that's shocking. Best driver position, Kevin Magnussen. We're moving up in the world. We're moving up in the world. Right, so we're now at the first... Now I think this is kind of the end of season bit. Has this list updated? <gasps> Chat, these are the drivers available. Wait, is anyone... Is everyone willing to talk to me? No shot. This is gonna... This is gonna be incorrect. I can talk to Max Verstappen. I can't get Max Verstappen. Would that ruin the immersion? He's just won the championship and he comes down to Mass. <laughs> Everyone's just like, Max! What's the buyout? Salary of 24 million. The buyout's 38 million. Chat, we cannot afford that. I'm not an accountant. I cannot do that. At least talk to him. How do I make a move for him? Wait, can I make a move for him? I'll propose contract. Right, Max. You get to replace Kevin Magnussen. He gets two million for his race bonuses. I can't afford this. I can't I can't afford this. I can't. Lewis Hamilton, a bit old. George Russell? Lando? I think Lando or Russell. We've got them both scoured. Can you compare them anywhere? Compare screen Oh you can. Compare I was about to say compare screen would be very useful. So if I go to uh, Lando. What do we think, chat? <laughs> George Russell's so much cheaper. George is so much cheaper, chat. 
Like the buyout is eight million less. His actual salary is like five times less. We have to go for Russell, right? We finished ahead of Merck the last two years. He's been not he's not been treated right. What's George's potential? George has average potential. Does Lando has average potential as well, chat? They've both got average now. They've got old in game, so their development slows. I'm not getting both, chat. We're not getting rid of Pacher. We're not get. We're not getting rid of Teo. I think George. I think George is the one. Or Lewis. I haven't scouted him yet. 30 days, though. We won't have that in time. Is it worth waiting to the 31st? I can't remember, chat, if you're meant to wait till the 31st or not. Wait, is Bono available? Bono. But I want Bono. I can get Bono and Lewis, and they could just banter to each other. It'd be really cute. We could we could also just get in um, George's engineer too. He's also ninety two rated. Chat for people who've done like the season stuff. Is it worth waiting to the end of the season, like the the end of well, I say the end of the season, the end of December to actually sign people? I don't know if it is or it isn't. Don't wait. It's risky. In my opinion, yes. Half the chat is saying yes. Half the chat is saying no. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to save the game and I'm going to trust the people who are saying get to the end of the season. But if they're wrong, they've lied to me. I'm loading this save game back up. Oh, some of the drivers are free drivers then. Okay. Okay. Reg changes. You get double points last race. Is it the first? It's not the 31st chat. Some sign contracts, though. Uh, so it might not be the, uh, the better option, is what you're telling me. We can't do any research, a new research until the season restarts. We're still doing research at the moment. Oh, Sergeant's got more development points. Cornering? Cornering. Oh, he's better than K Mag. 69. All right, let's get to the 31st because chat's told me that this is the day. Oh, all this research that we timed perfectly. Start new season. So is this the date, chat, where I should do stuff? Is this what you're telling me now? Oh, Hamilton's a free agent. Chat, you guys are smart. How much do you reckon he's going to want? I'm thinking we offer him George Russell money and see what he says. You know? Should we give him reserve? I don't want Bottas chat. I'm going to offer him 4.2 million to start with because that's what Kevin's on. He can have a bonus if he comes in the top three. He's on 24 mil at the start. Well, you know, at the end of his career now, he should just be enjoying himself, you know, driving for the love of it, for the passion. I drive for the passion, you know. He can. I manage for the passion. He should drive for the passion. I, I know we've got 45 mil chat, but, you know, I, I want to save money. 
Right, I'm sure he'll love this. He's gonna love this. Oh. Okay, back to negotiations. I don't want to give him much more than what Russell might ask for. Lewis wants 24 mil. No, 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 no. How much does he actually want, chat? You're trolling me. You're trolling me. You're trolling me. I'll give him 7.7. I'll give him 7.5. You reckon two seasons? Let's try that. Lewis, mate, you're f you're you're basically a pensioner. I think he might just want to retire. In fact, he wants less than two years. But if I give him a new contract and put it at one year and he says lower, I think he just wants to retire. Maybe he'll accept that. I'm not I'm not not paying more than eight million, chat. We're not made of money. I think we go for George is so much cheaper. George's buyout is really cheap. I'll I'll give you two years, two two years. I don't want to tie. I don't want to have him forever. You know, I might get bored of him. Everyone's saying three years, chat, but I'm trusting you guys. We're giving the Pesher clause. If you get top three, half a million. In fact, le less than Pesher. That that is a fair deal. IMO is very cheap. That's cheaper than Magnuson. Take it. He's going to join us, chap. He's going to join us. This is going to be fine. Fucking hell. So the people saying stop skimping, I don't want to give him too much money. I'm going to be doubling his salary here. And I've only ever negotiated with one driver in the past, so I have no idea what drivers want in this game. Oh, how much does he want? Russell's at least 8 to 10 mil. Right, chat, I'll go up to six and a half. How much money do you want, son? He's not that. I haven't got any water in this bar. I went to take a drink. Mate, you walk around these parts like you're Bertie Big Balls. You're not. You're not Bertie Big Balls, Russell. You're Timmy Tiny Testies. Not bad. Who does he think he is? Can't wait to beat him this season. Can't wait to beat him this season. All right, Lando, you were my first choice anyway. He wants... What's the buyout? Buy out for nine million! Nine million! Nine! All right, mate, look, this is what I could offer you. What is he? I'm not giving anyone 10 million. We're poor. We're poor. I'm not reloading, chat. We're going after Sergio Perez. He was always my first choice. How much is his current contract? We have no idea. That's good. Look, I, I have 45 mil. Should I have spent so frivolously in the past? Probably not. We lived the dream. Should we just sign a regen? Are there any good regens? Any regen? I'll just sign a regen to cheer me up. It's like football manager, you know? You just sign like one of the kids when things aren't going to plan. It'll cheer me up. These are all real people. Why is Behrman so low rated? 
Chat, it's not cheered me up. It's not cheered me up. Um, I think I just have to give Lando more money. I'm not reloading, chat. Ghastly for a year. Or Bottas for a year. Danny Rick for a year. Chat, I want to make progress as a team. I've saved up money all year for this moment. I see everyone use gas. Everyone uses Gasly, don't they? Right, Lando. Old buddy, old pal. We're not made of money yet. I can give you half a million more for the year. What do you mean? What do you mean? How about bone? A million bonus, though. A million. A million. All right, final offer. Final offer. I don't like that offer. But it's still quite good, but it's so much money. I mean, it's eight, it's eight million more over the year, and we did make 45 million. Russell is cheaper. Oh, chat. Everyone's saying no, everyone's saying no, everyone's saying no. This is very stressful. Russell is cheaper and better, but I, I, I'll be honest, I fucked off Russell, so now he doesn't want to talk to me anymore. Should we just get Alex Albon and call it a day? Give Lewis the same money. I'd take Hamilton for a year on like 10 mil. Hamilton for a year on 10 mil. That'd be fun. I'll give him the million bonus too. I'm not... We're not save scum in chat. We're not save scum. We don't save scum here. And another gifter has gifted a sub to... Jack bottled it like Plymouth. <laughs> Sorry to any Plymouth fans out there. There's one Plymouth fan who feels very attacked right now. Could I just get Russell next season? Thing is, we have a lot of money and he's a free agent. Should I just give him a big starting bonus? Like, because he's going to be. We're not paying a buyout because he's a free agent. So we're going to pay 10 million to break Lando's comment. Uh, co comment? Co contract? Where did comment come from? All right, Lewis, I want two years from you. Deal or no deal. Now we wait, chat. Now we wait. He only wants one year. I should accept the fact he wants one year. Back to waiting, chat. I do business properly in this institution. He's not going to talk to me anymore. He is still going to talk. We were saying 60, 16 million is a lot of money to give him, isn't it? That is a lot of money. I'll go to two and a half here. We have got the money, to be fair. I did. I have not spent money for most of the season so I could get in a good driver. I just feel like a year of Lewis Hamilton at the end of his career at Haas is really what could happen in real life. Now we wait. This is my final offer. This is my final offer. It's a one-year deal, mate. One year and then you get to piss off wherever. Or renew. <coughs> I just don't think he wants to come and he doesn't have the heart to tell me. 15, you reckon, chat? I don't even think I want to give him this, but I just want to know if he'd accept... No, we're not talking, Lewis. Get out of my, get out of my office, Lewis. Get out of my office.
You're a free agent, lads. Right, you know what? I'm not getting rid of Kev. I'm starting the next season and going for Norris, uh, Norris Russell in a week. Welcome to the new season. Right, now let me... S oh, God, I have to pick obligations. <laughs> Kevin's still here. Chat, I have not got rid of Kevin. I've not got rid of Kevin. It's fine, though. We're, we're going to get rid of him in a second. We're just going to continue forward and sign him during the season. It's fine. Everything's fine. Yeah, that's... Get me out of it. Third and above, we did that last year. That's fine. Oh, look how much money we have. Chat, we want another year of Kevin. Oh, we have to pick a... Right, who are we picking? Oh, God, this again. I'll be honest, I've quite liked the Ferrari engine. Take Ford. <laughs> I think Ferrari. I think we just stay with Ferrari. Ferrari's not, we've never really had that many issues. I feel like everyone else has taken way more grid penalties. Like Red Bull has more power. But I feel like the fuel efficiency really isn't as good. So you can't push on your drivers as much. And that ERS durability is cack. I'm staying with Ferrari. Ferrari won the championship. We know what to, what to expect from there. Where, oh, Magnussen's got a development but it, overtaking. Um, the thing is, now if I get rid of Kevin, he won't get a drive somewhere else. But that's fine. He'll come in next year. Oh, but the drivers are pissed off now. Aren't here to talk to. <sighs> ah! I'm fine. Everything's fine. Everything's fine. Oh, God. We really are moving on to sloppy seconds at this point. We could just renew Magnussen's contract. Wait, does that mean... Did, did Lewis retire? Wait. That's a bit... He's gone back to McLaren. He's gone back to McLaren with Norris. The two people I've talked to are just pissed off together to secure the bag. It's a great storyline. It's a great storyline. Bottas has gone. Bottas has gone back to Mercedes. I don't like it, chat. I don't like it. Wait, do we have the inbox line with all the new teams? That's all I care about now. Right, who's gone where? There, look at us. There we are. Oh, my God. That's haunting, isn't it? Pierre's gone back to... Oh, no. He's still at Alfa Romeo with Danny Rick. Vettel and Alfa Tauri. Uh, Albon is still at Alfa Tauri. Lewis has gone to drive in Lando at McLaren. I don't like this universe. Mick's still on the grid, chat. chat. That's all that matters. Mick's still here, but I've still got Kevin. I don't want Kevin. He makes me really angry. I need someone who's good. Would it be dumb to sign Max Verstappen? Oh, he made like 50 million profit last year. So we can pay him big. Secure the bag, King. Okay, if you, could, if you get top three, I'll give you that. What's the buyout fee? What, what's, what's the buyout fee? Oh, cost for 41 million! 40, yeah, look, look, get me out of here. Get me out of here. Um, Sergio, it's Jack. There's not many good options, is there, really? I don't want to admit it. I don't want to admit it. I have royally f***ed this up. But it's good content. 
Millie, mate, thank you. <laughs> thank you for the reason. And the 2024 Drivers World Champion is Lewis Hamilton with McLaren. No, 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 no. No, no, no. We could get Ocon for a year. Chat, I'm not reloading. To all your little save scamandies out there, we do this for the entertainment. We don't reload saves when I fuck up. We embrace the carnage. Except from last race where the race, yeah, where the game crashed during the race. But we don't talk about that. Vettel, is Vettel, Vettel we could bring Vettel, we could bring Seb in. Bring Seb in, that'd be nice. FK Valor for... Oh, I definitely did not say your name correctly, but I can apologize. Thank you for subbing with the Prime. I do appreciate the love. Um, Henry, you redeemed a check out of play. I'll be honest, the chat's moving very quickly right now. Is Alonso the one for a year? Is Alonso the one for a year? Henry, I can't see what player you asked me to check out. The chat's going too quick. Mick, you want me to check out Mick? I can't do this. Not for another year. Not. For, no, 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 no. I know I'm all about the content, but I don't want to lose my job. Alonso could be the play. But we're not doing that. I don't know why I've showed it. Like I'm even considering it. We don't know what contract Perez is on. I don't know what contract people are on, which makes it kind of difficult to make deals for them. Hulkenberg for a year. He is very good looking. He is very good looking. Chat, this is so... Albon? Does Albon have good development in game? No. Average. We could just promote Sergeant. But that doesn't really make sense either. Uh, Uni Creator, thank you for someone with the Prime. Oh my, I don't know what to do. Am I really just sitting here accepting the fact I'm going to have Kevin Magnussen for another year? How long until the first race of the season? Surely if I give it like two months that I can sign someone different. I think we wait. I think we're patient here. How's our car looking on the grid? F um... That's bad. Uh, <laughs> let's, uh, let's, let's stop designing. All right, rear wing. We have to get a new rear wing in for the first race of the se but for during pre-season. What's happening? Millie, thank you for the 100 bits. Uh, uh, first number, one single. What are you doing? We're not bringing back Mick, Millie. It's not happening. I need someone who's good now, chat. I need someone who's good now. I think we go big on a rear wing to help performance. Okay, that, that definitely that definitely helps some performance. Doesn't help it as much as I'd like, I'll be honest. Let's go high speed, I think. Unless I just go balanced. No, let's go high speed. Do we go for a floor? I think we look at a floor chat. So the reason I don't really want to go with Alonso or Rockon, just for people wondering, is I'm managing Alpine on YouTube. So I'm doing a save with Alpine where Alonso and Ocon are my drivers. And with these kind of games, I find it very boring if I just end up using the same guys, like in multiple save games. So I kind of don't really want to use either of those for that reason. But I think it's semi under. I'd like to think most people can kind of get that. If we get the new underfloor in, that'll help a lot with uh, increasing the overall speed. Underfloor is just super good. I think I might go back for George, but I think we need to wait for... Um, we need to wait for the uh, what you call it for a few like for a few weeks and to maybe be interested in talking again. Yeah, I think we've got like a while till the season starts, chat. So we can be patient with things. Um, 
Let's design side pods as well. Can I design more parts at once now? I think we upgraded the factory so we actually can. I probably won't, to be honest, to begin with. I'd rather just get more significant upgrades done in pre-season. All the remaining engineers on. Bob's your uncle. Uh, I've definitely not... Is it Smeichel? I, I would like to issue a public apology. I can't read. Uh, but thank you for some with the Prime. I do want to sign Bono chat. Everyone's saying to put Mick back. I'm not. I'm. I'm not bringing Mick back. It's not happening. Stop trying to make it happen. Uh, Mick is not coming home. Chat like football in England. Not coming home. At least the men's team. Max and going to debt. That. I mean. I'll be honest. Doesn't sound like the best idea. Do I always get loads of development points in this period from the weekly gain? I don't think they do. Right, can we look at drivers now? George Russell is now available again. All right, George. I'm here to talk to you about your uh, warranty. Rancid Ritson, thank you for some with the Prime Well, Chat, can I just say the support today is mad. I'm looking forward to the start of the season and how bad we're going to be. <laughs> uh, we are going to be doing the Bahrain race here. It's 8.5, 8.5, you guys reckon? 8.4, like, we're not made of money. Car 2, he has low patience. But it's only the 16th of January, so we'll just come back in another two weeks if he hates this. Oh. I have to do it. That's a good contract. That's actually very, very good. Good price. Good. Pro Are we happy with that? That's a good. Uh, good. Oh, Kevin's going though. Will Kevin get the job? The job at Mercedes. Higher. I'm really sorry, Kevin. I'm sorry for the good times we've had together, the memories we've built together, Kevin Magnuson. Can we get some F's in the chat and some yar? Get some yars mostly, but some F's. Some respect should be shown. I feel like. Why is the you? Oh, it's working out. Yeah. George Russell is in Haas. Oh my word! I I feel so happy. We we have it. We have a competent driver in our team. I never thought I'd see the day. Have the regens now appeared? Because we've like some play drivers retired. I don't know whether do the regens appear in Formula Billy Three Brands. chat. Do we know? Yeah. Hey, Morantor, thank you for the five gifted. Do we get Bono in now, or do we get in um, his old engineer? Chat. Oh, wait. Do they not want to talk to me now? They wanted to talk to me before. Now they don't. Oh. He's... <laughs> what? Bono! Bono! <laughs> You are meant to protect us from the dark side. I don't like it. Get it off my screen. And Russell's old engineer has now gone to Red Bull. Oh, there's been big merry-go-rounds amongst all the big teams. That's why I can't get anyone. Oh, chat. There's literally not good upgrades. Wait. Wait. What were you guys saying, chat? Everyone's moved around. I hate this. Bonington lost Lewis and lost the way. Becca's, Becca's staying for another year, chat. Becca is staying. Wait, so who did Mercedes get in? Oh, my word. Are they just doing swaps between... I don't even... I feel uncomfortable. Get me out. Get me out. It's just a big merry-go-round that we weren't part of. Russell's very good, isn't he? Russell's very good. I'll oh, check Kevin. Will Kevin... Kevin? 
Is he going to show us? He is available for negotiations chat. Surely he goes to Merck. He's the best driver who's a free agent. I need him to get a job. I'm going to feel guilty if he doesn't have a job. He's not there anymore. Chat, he's not there anymore. Where is he? This is this is this is the greatest timeline. I love this timeline. We have done a swap. Kevin Magnussen is driving for Mercedes. We're gonna be racing him this year for Ford, for Ford and the constructors. This is the most mental. St this is if this happened in real life, like the, the internet just goes into meltdown. I want to know how much they're paying him. I want. I need to know how much they're paying him. They've got K Mag and Bottas as their team. <laughs> What's happening? We're going to be racing wheel to wheel with him. Yeah, he's got 93 overtaking because I've only put overtaking into him. That's what we did. That's what we did. Oh, he's gonna have didn't, he's gonna have all that overtaking that I gave him. At least he can't defend. How much is Hamilton on? Good question. Oh, I have to scout him again to find... We'll do scout some more. Why not? I'll tell you what. Signing George actually worked out pretty cheap. I think I, I, think I want to upgrade the design center again. I think the design center is the most... 32 mil. That's so much, but it's probably worth it. Right, chat? I feel like being able to design more parts and have the extra five engineers is is just worth it. We can afford that as well because Russell was quite cheap. I've been saving money. We're going to want to upgrade it at some point. The 20 engineers is big upgrades. I think we can upgrade some of this other stuff as well. Like we could upgrade the wind tunnel too, which is definitely worth doing, to be honest. Um... All our other facilities, though, are pretty, like, good. Uh, although, apparently, all, these all need refurbishing. Of course they need refur... How do you refurbish a helipad? They need to add a cooldown. I've refurbished that helipad four times since I built it last year. Uh, we already have the simulator fully upgraded, chat. We're poor again. Did you enjoy our time with money, chat? You repaint the H. I mean, that is literally it. There you go. The helipad's been repainted. Oh, yeah. Our staff might have some points as well for all of this off-season. Oh, the team hub. The team hub needs refurbishing. Get it fixed. We might upgrade that down the line. Oh, that does actually give quite a big upgrade, doesn't it? It's a weekly experience game. We might look to update that. I'm well ex. Is anyone else well excited for um, Bahrain? Um, do we keep this on tire change or do we put it on balance? I feel like tire change is just the most important one, but maybe I'm wrong. Now we definitely saw our tire our times go down by like half a half a second. Is car release important? Maybe I just put it on general then. Because before, basically, the issue we had before was our tyre changes was like at 30. It was really bad. So I think we just put it on balance. Uh, Mitchell has a point. Uh, feedback. Oh, Benny Mitchell. 86 red. He's actually very good. Oh, Becker might go up a rating here. I want to believe. Never, never mind. Ah, oh, Mr. DeBeer. Mr. DeBeer. Bloody love DeBeer. Uh, drag, drag reduction. Engineering team. Do I have slots? Oh my god, we can hire new engineers. I thought that automatically happened. Thank you, chat. We're going to update our assignments. And I'm, I'm going to be honest, Simone, you just, you're not a very good staff member. All right, let's edit our current projects. Throw more people on it. There's that saying, isn't there, that too many cooks, like, ruin it or whatever. Nah, not in this world. If in doubt, just throw men at the problem. Uh, 
Uh, we have one more free, right? Let me edit. There we go. K-Mags at Mercedes chat. How do we feel about that? I'm a bit scared. Oh, wait. The scouts work the same. Oh, my God. I don't even know. Don't Normally, don't care about that. Look for a replacement for... Do you reckon we should be replacing Simeone Resta? Is he a technical chief? Make, make sure I'm looking for the right job first. Yeah, watch it. I don't know what he wants. We'll scout him. Imagine if Kevin Magnussen's really good. Enrico Balbo. He, he's, he's, although, is he that much better than De Beer? He is quite a bit better, isn't he? Thing is, I can't actually really afford to sign any of these people because we've just spent all our money on a helipad. Uh, did 29 days? 29 days to do side pods. What, what are they made of? Like, who's building them? You're building them an atom at a time. Right, new rear wing. That'll be done. Was it a floor chat, the other thing we we're working on? I might have to emergency build the floor so we get the upgrade. I'm hoping if George is really bad, that's going to be so upsetting, isn't it? Oh, we need to refurbish the factory for 15... 15 I mean, we have to do it, but five million. It's like being, it's like the old days of Hass again. We just have no money. Sergeant gets way more development points than per share. Reserve drivers 100% develop quicker than actual proper drivers. I'm absolutely convinced of it. Uh, reactions. Russell's got a development point. What do we put it in? He's a god at everything. I'm thinking cornering. The shares growth potential went down to... No, his is high. It's high. Oh, Sergeant's is average. Chat, we don't do defending. Kevin Magnuson could never defend and it worked fine. We're like Liverpool Football Club at the moment. We don't defend. You know, we don't have to track back. We just score more than everyone else. Okay, new ATR period as well. Uh, when's the floor done? Three days. I'm going to wait for that floor to be done because I might assign time into the floor. Yeah, we don't attack either at Liverpool at the moment. Leave me alone, chat. I'm not even saving F1 manager streams from the football manager slander. Uh, right, so we've got new underfloor. Takes seven days to build the floor, the first race. So do I build one now, then emergency build the rest, or do I emergency build three? We'll we'll build one now and then emergency build before the race. Okay, chat. Remind me, chat. That's your job to remind me about the floors. Now we're gonna go. We're gonna go big on the floor. The fl floor upgrades just feel so good in this game in general. I mean, look at that game. We were like one of the slowest teams suddenly. We've sold ev We've solved everything. Hmm. That floor? Looks good to me. Six engineers on it. Rush it so it's done in 39 days. We're done for the Emilia Romagna Grand Prix. Or we do it normally. And it's done in 58. Nah, we rush it. We rush it, so it's definitely in for Miami. Is Intense quicker? How is it? Intense takes so long, though, chat. Is Intense worth it? 
It means I wouldn't get it until after Miami, so it'd come in two races later. Intense makes the next one better. Interesting. Well, if we do low speed performance, that will come in for Monaco and stuff, so I guess that's fine. You know what, chat? You guys are smart. Although we have just spent all our money on that. Um, let's go with an improved chassis as well while we're here for this next period. Is suspension good to do? Chat, you guys are good. We'll do a bit of chassis and a bit of suspension. Our cooling is ass. So maybe doing that. Now with our DRS in dirty air. That's pr it's probably a good idea. Let's help with the engine cooling. These upgrades I think are a bit cheaper, chat, than the other ones. Like the underfloor gives you big gains, so it costs more in game. Six is it worth rushing it for sixteen days? Normal will be for in time for Australia. Where's Kevin gone? He's gone to Merck. Do I need to save money for the underfloor so we can actually emergency build one or two? Let's see how much this actually costs. But we might have to save. You know what? Screw brake cooling. Oh, this isn't this isn't expensive. We've done in 29 days on intent. So we've done for Australia. We could emergency build it. I could rush it for in 20 days. Or normal. Intense is very expensive. We'll just do normal. We'll just do normal. Everything's fine. I think we'll get a little bit of money. Uh, it is better Golf Star if you full focus on everything, but the game balance is really off. So I find in general, just to keep the game a bit more challenging... I like to um, play with the, play the game in a way where I only use presets, which undoubtedly puts me at a massive disadvantage. It makes the game harder for myself, but it makes it good. Uh, we're still scouting the driver's chat to find out their contracts, I think. That's mental. That is mental. That's more than Max Verstappen's on. That, you know what? Glad we didn't pay that. That is literally... That is mental. Uh, you know what? Glad, glad glad that I didn't do that. Who was the other driver? Oh, Magnussen. How much is... How much do you reckon Kevin's on? Secure the bag, King. Secure the bag. Okay. Uh, underfloor... I can emergency build. If I emergency build two, we go into debt. The underfloor is the kind of thing that never gets like terminal damage, I want to say. So I think we just emergency build one. So first race of the year, rear wings are in, side pods are in, underfloor's in. How do we stack up? Okay, it's not as bad as I thought it was going to be. We've definitely got better with the, the underfloor upgrades. Although, actually, I think the AI brings their upgrades on race day. So if we now check it, it's probably all different. Yeah, it is all different. Our overall speed ain't great, but it'll hopefully get better with the underfloor stuff. It's better than it was last year. Last year when we rolled up for the first race, we turned up first day of school, opened our lunchbox, forgot to pack the sandwiches, got made fun of by all the other teams and did awfully. We don't talk about it. Did I actually install the underfloor? Uh, I think I did, but I noticed the underfloor was at the bottom. 
Yeah, I did. I did up to install the underfloor, but they were in the other way around before, right? It was weird. Yeah, in dirty air we can race. And we've got George pissing Russell now, so we're gonna be great. Do the board still want third? They want third again. They have very high aims, don't they, here? Mark all is red. I don't know what messages I, I missed, but we'll just ignore them. Right, should we compare our car with Mercedes? Good question. Uh, Merck. Hmm. I mean, they have the low-speed cornering and the cooling, but we go fast. And they uh, they have also got Kevin Magnussen, who will crash. So, on, is there a way you can see the updated rosters? So, for people who are like, who are the updated rosters? Oh, it has... <laughs> the chat is updated their race suits in the inbox item, but not their positions. Because we signed Russell after the start of the season, so they're in the they've they have swapped. <laughs> but they're wearing the wrong suits. I feel uncomfortable. I feel uncomfortable. It doesn't look right. <laughs> I can't believe how much they're paying Hamilton for a year. I forgot to do the sponsor stuff. Doesn't matter. We don't need money. We kind of do. We kind of do need money, but be fine. Welcome. To oh, the what do we do a prediction on? What do we do a prediction on? Will Teo outqualify Magnussen? That sounds like a fun prediction. Spur right or USA list on Millie, are you able to set that up? Will Pacher outqualify Magnussen? Our car versus theirs. Does Russell outqualify K Mag? No, that has to. Russell's obviously gonna outqualify him. We're bloody massive. Have you seen us? You know, it's their number two driver, VR number two driver. How long's the stream today? I'm not sure, but there's so many of you watching. We'll do a few races, I think. We might do Jeddah as well. I'm having a lot of fun with this stream. The off-season, like, even in Football Manager, and especially in this game, it's my favourite thing. I like the chaos of it all and not really doing things optimally. How much did they pay? They're paying Lewis Hamilton, I think, 27 million uh, McLaren. And Magnussen's getting paid like 9.5 million. Right, chat. The prediction is live right now. The prediction is live. Channel points. Get them on the line. Will Teo, our man who we've stuck with, outqualify our former driver who's pissed off to Mercedes? Pre we don't really know how quick the cars are yet. I'm not even going to. I'm not even going to show you the simulated practice results, so you won't know how good the cars are either. There's a lot of unknown here. Tom Burns, 1990. Dude, thank you so much for resubbing for four months. Uh, Jack, two questions. I think I'm getting the game. Did you partner with someone? And could I get through your link? Uh, there's a link below the stream. I partnered with Fanatical. Um, I've got two deals with Fanatical at the moment. Um, for people wondering, you can get FM23, which is the new football manager that's coming out in two months, uh, for £32. There's a link below you can click if you use the code as well at checkout. That will get it down to the £32. And I get some kickback off that. And with F1 Manager, you can pick it up using the, again, there's another link below the stream. And it's 10% uh, cheaper than it is on Steam. So it's not a massive discount, but if you're thinking about buying the game, it's a way you can buy this game off Steam, get a Steam code for it. You're buying it through the developers. It's not some dodgy website. You know, they basically, um, Fanatical work with publishers to get the keys and stuff. Um, and you are supporting the channel, which is massively appreciated. I love F1, but I don't know much about the technical stuff like during races. Can you give a quick lowdown? Is it easy to pick up these things during play? There's definitely stuff, Count Bluffal, uh, Bluffal, uh, clap, Count Bluffal. I've still not said your name correctly. I'm so sorry. Uh, there's stuff that you can pick up if you want to, like, get a, you know, a dummies guide. The YouTube videos I've done with Alpine, I think, do a pretty good job of explaining all the fundamentals in the first few episodes. So that might help you. Uh, we are going to be simming to quality. Chat, how did the prediction end? How did the prediction end? I'll move my camera as well. Look at that. One day, chat, I should just leave two cameras up and we can all just enjoy it. But not today. How good are we going to be in The Sims? 
Let's see how we go. 56% believe. Oh, that makes me happy. Count Bluffula. It's Bluffula. It's like Dracula Jack. I'm an idiot. Mate, thank you for subbing with the Prime. And also, Kanzahoy, thank you for subbing too. Guys, you are absolute legends. Right, how quick are we? How slow are we? Our actual like top speed and acceleration isn't good, but our cornering, especially in dirty air, is great. Okay, that feels wrong, doesn't it, seeing Hamilton there? <laughs> Bottas finished fourth in the Mercedes. Magnussen's 15th. Magnussen is 15th. And the, is he Danny Ricardo in real life? And Bottas is Norris. Oh, no, Kev. Oh, no. Oh, no. The believers. Anyone who put it, I mean, Pichette's not done as amazing. I'll tell you what. Seeing Lewis Hamilton's name next to McLaren does make me feel nostalgic. Oh, Kevin's sandbagging. Maybe. He's trying to bait us all out. I'm going to underestimate him. I hope that... I hope... I'm praying that we are as good as we looked in practice. Oh, we get to hear George Russell's voice all the time. I'm not even a big George Russell fan, but he does just come across as a bit of a lovely lad, you know. Oh, look at him. No, that's the wrong, wrong driver. Look at him. I just, as long as we go, don't get traffic, I might single run our cars here. Look at him. He just drives it differently. Oh wait, no, that's, we're in two times speed. I don't think he was driving twice as fast as Kevin. That makes sense. Oh, the stroll up the road, though, in the Aston Martin. The Aston Martin and Williams in this save game have not got better at any point. Oh, around the final corner. they could, I've got tears in my eyes. Russell's the friend you'd bring round your nans. He does have that vibe, doesn't he? Right. Season three kicks off here at Bahrain. How will Mick do at Williams? How will Magnussen do at Mercedes? We threw, we've threw, we done a swap with Mercedes for Magnussen, for uh, um, George Russell. Hamilton's moved to McLaren. It's a great grid. It's a very fun grid. D-Train, mate. Thank you so much for 24 months. Two years. What a journey it's been. Friends have been become enemies. Enemies have become friends. And we're all the better for the experience. That is what we do here, folks. Oh, is he... Don't block him. Don't block him. Don't block him. Do what you can to keep the tyres cool. Sorry. Bro. Bro. <sighs> right, well, George is going out again. George is going out again. That is uh, Joe there blocking the way. Do you know what? George was only... <laughs> he was only nine thousandths of a second slower than Stroll there. Bashir is fastest of the session so far. Everybody liked that. Well, except anyone who predicted him to be bad. Magnuson's just gone fastest! I think we can keep Teo... We can keep Teo in and save tyres. But I'm a bit worried about Magnuson's pace now, chat. Was he sandbagging? Uh, you know what? We're going to play it safe and send Pichera out again. I'm sending him out again, chat. We're not... I'm not making that mistake. I want to go out at 310 here. I want to go out ahead of the traffic. Uh, that's the plan. I've probably gone a bit too early here, but it's fine. It's fine. We'll get ahead of the traffic. We're confident in our car. In Antif Tuna, dude, thank you for the free months. Love the streams recently. Came from the FM content, but love the F1 stuff recently. Genuinely had no idea about FM, uh, F1. Uh, but here for you, bud. Hey, thank you, mate. I like to think there's been people who have maybe watched the streams recently, maybe some of the longer term FM viewers, and have enjoyed it enough to maybe check out the sport itself. Like, even if you don't want to sit down and dedicate, you know, hours of your Saturday or Sunday to watching Quali in the race, like the YouTube channel for Formula One. Does really, really good, like, recaps of all the races. I think they are probably the best sport for, like, replays and the content around the sport. Uh, Mick's not got a penalty. It's a bit weird. This is just because he's in the danger zone. He's the driver in danger. Uh, with your FM link, do you get the beta 2? You do, yes. Lars Shetland.
Right. We're looking for good laps here. Bashir doesn't need to worry quite as much. Russell is the man who we're on board of who maybe needs to improve a little. Well, he does need to improve. He got blocked on his first lap. Russell is a fraud. Oh, God. It's taken, it's taken less than an entirety of, uh, well, Q1, and chat has already turned against George Russell. <laughs> I believe in George. In George, we trust. He did set a purple Sector 1. Actually, I say that. He went quicker than Pasher Sector 1 before he got blocked. I was going to say he went purple. He did, but no one else had set a time. Bring back K-Mag. <laughs> I mean, K-Mag's now down in 10th. Can you change your own positions between 1 and 2? You can't, which is a bit annoying. But the game doesn't actually, like, weigh the driver 1 and 2 slot, like, in any way. Like, it's not like your number 1 driver has to have car 1, if that makes sense. I know it's a bit backwards, it's just how it is in the game. It's just a way of designating the two slots in the team. Like, your number one driver can be in car two. If you get FN23 off Fnatic, would you get it on Steam? You would. What I would say is, with Football Manager especially, check what countries the code can be activated in. Okay, bashir has gone faster than K-Mag there. Oh, Georgie Russell. We're through. We're through. Q1 in the bag. No nonsense. Magnussen... Oh, God, Pasher. Pasher might not make it through to Q1, uh, Q3 chat. I'm a bit I'm a bit worried after that. I mean, George looked good, though. I still feel like it's not really... I feel like the, the sport... This could be controversial. I do feel like the heart of the sport has gone a little bit, um, knowing that Latifi isn't on the grid. You know, it's not really the F1 that I've fallen in love with. Radio check, radio check. We get out in front of the Alpine. We can't. That's unfortunate. The game's gone. True. Our car isn't that amazing right now. We've got some good upgrades coming. Obviously, everyone else will bring upgrades too. Okay, clean air for these laps. So these should be decent laps on fresh softs. Okay, George went faster than the Alpine there in sectors two and three. Ferrari only two temps up the road. That's okay. Can you use a reserve drive in the race? I've not really looked into it, but I don't think you can. I think you can only give them P1. Do I put them on fresh softs for another run? I don't think I need to with George. I'm just wondering if I should put Pacher on fresh softs for his run. Where's Magnussen going to be finishing here, chat, when he comes round on his flying lap? How quick is he? Oh, Bashir needs to go better. Bashir needs to do go better. K-Mag's worse than Russell. Silver linings. Believe us, I'm sweating for you. And it's not a good sweat. Uh, do we send them out at the end or do we send them out early to clear traffic? Theo's washed. Look, he's, he's, he's 20. He's a child. Okay, pasher has got out. Not in a load of traffic, but he should be fine. I'm going to send Russell out as well on old softs anyway. I feel like in general that you don't get much of an effect from toe in this game. Like, uh, like the... Um, Kind of, what do you call it? Tailgating doesn't have that bigger an effect. Right. Bashir, you got to go quicker here, son. you got to go quicker here. I love the fact that we've got Russell and they've got Magnussen. Slipstreams, thank you. I don't know why the word slipstreams was going from my... just left my mind. Right. Bashir, you need to go faster here. He's gone green in sector one. He's going faster. Come on, Tao. Come on. Uh, 
Oh, right, sector two. Coming up to the timing line. How is it? How are we? Green, please be green. Please be green. Please be going faster, Teo. No, Teo, you wazzock! Just don't crash now. Thing is, Leclerc and Perez are almost certainly going to go quicker. So he needs to get two tenths off. Which is very unlikely now. Teo, the believers are really praying here, mate. I'm sorry to the believers. I can only apologise. He's let you down. He's let me down. He is slower than Kevin Magnussen. But Magnussen is also out the session. So they're both pretty bad. <laughs> they're both bad. They're both bad. That's what we've learned. They get to start next to each other. So that's cute. Russell up in sixth, though. That's good to see. Oh, right. I think we just send Russell out for one flying lap here. On the fresh softs when the track's fully rubbered. Did Hamilton knock out Lando? Actually, there's quite a mix of teams I've just noticed, isn't there? Alpine getting both drivers through. That's pretty wild. And then ourselves, Merck, Al uh, Alfa Romeo and McLaren all only getting one driver out of the session. That's mad. Oh, yeah, I didn't really pay attention to the times of Aston Martin and Williams chat. Were they better during the first Q1? Uh, you know what? You're probably right, Ozzy. Let's send him out on used, a set of used just to get a lap in. He's just blocked Gasly. Nice work. Although Russell might get blocked by Gasly. He ran, he ran wide. Well, that lap's a right off. Come into the pits. You ran wide. It's not a time. Like Kevin Magnussen never ran wide. Kevin Magnussen never ran wide. I should have kept him in. I should have kept him in, chat. Now, now his head's gone. My head's gone too. At least we at least he's done better than Kevin Magnussen. We've got to remember Russell has come in to, to replace Kevin Magnussen. Get Norris in. Chat really what Russell got already. Not not your driver. Chat, I feel like. You've not connected him with with him in the same way you have other individuals. Please tell me I'm gonna get out of the pit. Okay, there is a gap. We're fine. Maybe the, maybe the issue is the cooling chat. Maybe we should actually focus on our cooling more instead of just being like, power! Hey, Harry, my day's been good, thank you, mate. I hope yours has been good too. Just as a little reminder, chat, if you are new to the stream, I appreciate we've got a lot of people watching right now. This might be a new channel record for people watching, which is mad for like a Saturday night. Um, I will be live tomorrow. I'm live most, ni most nights around this time and a little bit earlier and often a little bit later um, playing F1 Manager. So if you're enjoying your time vibing out here, make sure to be following, get notified when we go live and all the Twitch VODs do go up on my second YouTube channel. Over on the main YouTube channel, we've got a series of Alpine as well. So if you want more F1 Manager stuff, that might be a good place to check out. I won't be doing a Monza watch along, but we'll be doing... Well, I'm sure when I'm streaming in the evening, there'll be plenty to dissect and talk about. Can I add a cool car channel in the channel rewards? Absolutely not, Disco Stu. That would end horrifically. Have I binned FM? No, we're still going to be doing Football Manager, but Football Manager's been out for 10 months. I've been playing the same game Football Manager for 10 months. And this game, I'm having a lot of fun playing. I think the game itself is a really, really solid foundation. I'm excited for the update in two weeks. And I'm just having a lot of fun playing it. So at the moment, like, I don't really want to be playing a game I'm not enjoying 
to fewer people when there's so many people who seem to be lo loving and vibing with the F1 streams. Thoughts on the race tomorrow? Is it boring? Uh, where's... Ro <laughs> That's a monster lap. What? What? I mean, Verstappen will probably go quicker, but that is mad. Um, prediction for tomorrow. I think Leclerc could... W I think Leclerc will probably win, but I think Verstappen will be a close second. I've had a vision in my head that Red Bull beat Ferrari thanks to a Max Verstappen undercut on lap 15. Maybe clip this. Maybe clip this. I've just I had a vision in my dream last night that Verstappen undercut on his used softs lap 15 and then Ferrari reacted and he got him in the pits, Leclerc. Uh, sixth... Sixth's okay, isn't it? Oh my god, Verstappen be Leclerc by a thousand. I didn't even see that. That's mad. Lap 15's very early. I mean, it is, but that's when my vision happened. But, chat, the dream might be wrong. It could just be a regular undercut. Maybe it was a three instead of a one. It was a dream. Oh, this race is going to be fun. Our car's really good in dirty air. Tension continues to build here as race day begins. Has proved quite resourceful during qualifying. That puts them in a very good Ferrari, position. Ferrari, am I right? I'm thinking Red Bull have got two sets of softs for the race. I think Red Bull saved us out of softs for this race today. I could be wrong. I say today. Is it after midnight? It's not after midnight yet. It's not today. Did I eat a lot of cheese yesterday? No. Right, chat, we need a prediction. I think this is a soft, medium, soft race. Unless I want to do soft, hard, soft and give myself a bit more window for an undercut. That's probably the more sensible thing. The thing is, George has really good smoothness, so he should be pretty good on his tyres. The yoghurt's gone to my head. It could be. George Russell has way better, like, smoothness. I think he'll be able to make the mediums and softs last more than we're used to. What do we want a prediction on? Do we just do Pusher v. Magnussen again? Do we just do Pusher v. Magnussen again? Because I believe that Teo can do better than Kevin Magnussen. You guys reckon a one-stop? I don't know if the one-stop's even doable here. I think, I don't see the AI trying to do the one-stop, and I think it's so marginal, you probably don't gain off it, to be honest. Right, chat, prediction is alive. Who finishes higher in the race, Pasher or K-Mag? Where did K-Mag show up? He's gone to Mercedes. We got George Russell, and they replaced him with Magnussen. I'm nervous for this chat. I'm nervous for this. Predictions are live. Get your channel points on the line. I believe I want to believe that Teo can beat him. Maybe it's delusion. My plan is to go soft hards, but with a view to if a pits if a safety car came in sooner, switch to mediums. For that last bit. That's what I'm thinking. Our car's so good in dirty air. I want to believe that Teo can make up a load of spots on the opening lap. Like, our car is the best dirty air car. I wish my girlfriend was as dirty as our car is in the air. That made no sense. We move on. We move on. Um, <laughs> chat. I mean, there's over a million channel points. That's what We can pump that up. We can pump that up. I want to see 1.5 million channel points on the line. If you're sat there holding on to your points thinking, I could save a bit here. Get, get, don't save your channel points. Go on, YOLO. All in on black or red, whichever roulette wheel you would rather put it on. Oh, my word, chat. There's almost 1.5 mil. There's, there is now 1.5 million channel points on the line. 1.6, 1.65. What is happening? This is madness. We've never gone above 2 mil. Is it about to happen? 
Are we about to chat? We've just broken two million channel points on a prediction. What the dickens? How many was that? How many channel points have you lot just put on that there? This is big. There's 1.3 million on Teo, 835k on KMAG. Jowie has put 100k on Teo. Cooper has put 52k on KMAG. Oh my, oh my word. There's a very overcast night in Oh, it's not, it's not going to rain. It's not going to rain. We're racing in a desert. And Shut up, Crofty. The Bahrain Grand Prix. Right, George. We have to watch George. Our new driver in our new car. He's got bat bat Batas. Batas to his left. This is not a good start, George. George, faster. Faster. I need clean air. I cannot do anything. You don't need clean air. You don't need clean air. Our car's built dirty. Oh, you are a bottler. Kevin, how are you getting on? Oh, Pache, get Kevin. Get Kevin. He needs clean air. He can't do anything. George, it's the first corner, mate. It's the first corner. Stop being a little bitch. <laughs> Is he going to say that every every race this year? <laughs> I need clean air. I can't do anything, George. What do you want us to do? Start from the pit lane. <laughs> oh, Teo. Say, oh, wave goodbye to Kevin, everyone. Bye, Kev. Bye. Good job. Easy. George has got Alonso, has he? No, never mind. That I forgot that on that turn you get like squeezed and then just lose all your speed. Doing a good job. Keep pushing. Come on, Tao. Oh, there's a train already. Oh, it's George. George is at the front. Is this Hamilton on the left? It's Hamilton in the McLaren. I'm going to mistake, mistakenly say Mercedes all the time. Warning you now. Force of habit and all that. Good job so far. All right. Now we need to just ease ourselves into this. Save fuel. And oh, Becker's it. voice, though. Becker's voice. Russell's lost that spot to Alonso, but he has caught him up. This is okay. Oh, Georgie Russell. Georgie Russell. George up the inside. He's got this, Shirley. 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 What a man. What I believe what the internet would refer to that as a Giga Chad moment. But I, don't, I don't know. Is that Giga Chad? I don't know. Chad answers on a postcard. I'm a boomer. Okay, Pasher's in 11th, Magnussen's in 13th. I'm, who else has moved teams? Ricardo's at Alpha now. Uh, the Williams is still bad. Mick, how are you doing, mate? Mick, how's the, how's the new season treating you? Who's on what tyres? Everyone is on softs. So everyone is two stopping. No more K but Mag. No, we've got rid of Kevin. I love the fact that we've replaced Kevin and he's managed to get the job the job at Mercedes. Alright, come on, Teo. I think we let him have a go around this corner. DRS active. Does the DRS get active for the second uh, the bit after the first corner here? This lap. I assume it does. Because it's a separate detection zone, right? I can't believe they're paying Kevin 9 million. Oh, Teo's in the points, in the points. Teo's in the points. Da 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 da. It's not going to catch on as a chant, but I'm going to I'm going to chant it. You can't stop me. And lift off. Oh, Te is that a new race position for Hass? The boy can race. Also, Russell's just got Bottas. Missed that. Uh, we need to be in DRS range here on the guys in front. Red Bull and Ferrari are still the fastest cars. The Williams aren't losing as much time as they used to. 
So that's good. I mean, the bar's very low, I feel like, in general. Save fuel. Copy. We're going to deploy through Sector 3 here with Pasher to try and get as close as we can. And maybe try and get both drivers here. No DRS for this bit, but there is on the next corner. Can he really outbreak Ocon here? We're going to try. Hold on tight, boys and girls. Get your seatbelt on. Make sure you have no loose equipment. Keep this approach. Good job. So There's a yellow flag sector three. What's happened? VSC. What just happened there? Virtual safety camp. Is the game saying that we were ahead of those guys when the VSC was active? I guess we had to give the positions back. Someone's run wide. Sonoda ran wide. Penrith! Oh my god, Yuki, what are you doing? Yuki, you wazak. Can we go to VAR? I think he I think he had to give the places back, but I'd like VAR, please. VAR. VAR. That was so not right. This race has been manipulated. This is not ending in a great spot for Pusher here. Because he's at the front of a train. Push he's going to have no DRS from the guys in front. Although, it's disabled, right? Wait, yeah, DRS is disabled off a of VSC, right? For the two laps still. What am I chatting? So, I love if I say that, then one person says yes and the other person says no. We do not know the answer. Chat is now go chat is now going. Arse is active. Chat is saying arse. Yeah, DRS is known as arse in these parts. Okay, Bashir hasn't been completely swallowed. He's actually got a second over Norris behind, which is probably worth pushing to try and maintain. Georgie Russell's up in fifth, by the way. On actual pace. Love this. In real life, they have DRS after a VSC in the game. No. Oh. Maybe that's what I was getting so confused about the other day. But I just assumed I was wrong. Something not working as intended in this game. That couldn't happen. Nah, that couldn't be it. Okay, Bashir's right behind Ocon already. Our car seems to have some pretty good pace in dirty air. Bashir can be a little bit harder on his tyres than Russell because we're going on to hards rather than mediums on him. I think for George now, we don't really focus on trying to get past these guys. We just focus on harvesting. Share just set the fastest lap. Go on, my son. Shout on, shout on. Yeah, I think D DRS will be off for one more lap. A little bit wary about us not having DRS to keep in range whilst we harvest, but I'm hoping because these guys are racing, they won't be too difficult for George to keep up. We're in a good spot. Uh, dirty air is it's less about driving in the exhaust, damn it, Dutch. It's basically when a car drives through the air, it punches a hole in the air. And as a result of that, you get like um, what's called dirty air, where like the air density isn't the same. Cause obviously, a car's just punched a hole in it, so it becomes harder to follow a car behind because you get less downforce because the, the air that you're traveling through is less dense. We should be okay. Deploy, George. Deploy. We need two thousandths. It's 
Did he get an arse range? He is not in range for arse. Although arse isn't active until this next bit. So it's fine. This is fine. This is a good spot. Pichet's made some good moves. The VSC messed us up a little bit because we were up there with uh, Ocon and Gasly right before we push air. And yeah, the, you get less cooling as well because there's less air going through the car, which is the primary source of cooling. You'd passed Ocon and Gasly. Yeah, I thought we had. We've kind of lost that time on them, but we're back close. I think our actual race pace seems pretty good in the dirty air. Which, I mean, when you look to our... Because uh, our underfloor, like an underfloor is affected less by the dirty air. How does neutral ERS work? So, ERS, you have like a, a four... A four MJ capacity, right? And neutral, basically, you use the same amount that you have. If you start a lap with zero, though, like, you'll be using it at less opportune parts. In real life, the cars and the teams map... Well, the teams map out for the cars when the ERS is going to be used in each sector over the course of a lap. But even when you're on harvest, you are harvesting... You're getting a net gain of one, but you are actually still using some ERS during the lap. Just less of it. Like, a deficit. No saving required. I will need Russell up close. Might not have DRS here. All of George Russell's messages sound like he's wrestling like in a spaceship. As in he's like actually wrestling sort of in a spaceship rather than he's wrestling a, a spaceship itself. Someone locked up. Who's at a moment? Is it one of the Red Bulls? Oh my god, Verstappen's off. Max Verstappen is off. The world champion! Might not finish the first race. Oh, he was in the lead from right lockup. Oh, is it is the crashing? Very good chat. Very good. I tell you what, Verstappen's had to wait so long to re-enter the track there. He lost so many places. Well done. You got moved up to ninth for share. Great overtake. Pass with an overtake. Pass with an overtake. Get that in my veins. Okay, Russell's in DRS. These guys are squabbling and losing lots of time. Is that Leclerc who got compromised there? Very good. Okay, Bashir got past Ocon. Things we love to see. Pass with an overtake there. We can take a look now. Oh, we are doing this is very beautiful. This is very beautiful. That was just a DRS move. I thought you might be did him in the corner. Yeah, the softs have gone down pretty fast. We had fresh softs as well. I think everyone else started unused. Oh my word. They are squabbling at the front. George, have a go. Have a go, son. Let's get on you on the podium on your debut. Ocon just overtook Pacher with DRS. Do everything you can, mate. Yeah, copy. I guess all Russell's radio messages are taken from when he was at Williams, which is probably why he sounds like he's struggling so much. Safe fuel, safe fuel. Copy. Okay, so Gasly's just up the road. Can we catch him in this bit here? Might be able to get him in this DRS zone. The fuel deltas are really funky in game. You can be pretty generous on your fuel. Especially because we're now driving behind. Like, it will go up so quickly. 
Bit of a fight at the front, though. Bottas is three seconds behind. Good to see. We're that much quicker than the Mercedes on race pace. I kind of want us just to harvest here and just wait. Well, it'd be great if Sainz just wanted to take out the two in front. That'd be nice. Oh, my word. Oh, my word. I've laid an egg. I've laid an egg. Shares already right up behind this DRS zone. But Cher is looking racy. Not like he's in a, like a skimpy skirt or dress racy. You know what I mean, chat. He's looking quick. Our car is looking good on race pace. He actually has voice lines. It just sounds like he's talking through a $2 walkie-talkie. I believe you find that $2 walkie-talkie is the Formula 2 mics. <laughs> oh, my God. There's a big crash. Oh, my God. There's a safety car. Oh, my God. A Red Bull and Ferrari. What just happened? I switched POVs and there were sparks. Multiple cars, I think. Let's see what happened there. Watch Was this. it Leclerc and Leclerc. Perez? Oh my god. Oh my god, Sergio. Uh, Safety car. It's too soon to pit. I just wanted to. I might pit on Pusher. I think it's too early to pit. I don't think it's worth it. I don't think we've got two sets of mediums. It'd be super marginal. I don't think I've got two sets of fresh mediums. There's a bug where if you've only got one set of the tyres, it will always show the least one tyres, like, graph. Could go hard medium. Thing is, I don't... I feel like Russell's got race pace. I think I might pit with Pacher. Oh, I missed the chance anyway. Ignore. No one else has gone in, so it's not that disastrous. Leclerc's gone in with damage. Is that these softs are going to go a bit longer under the safety car? You know, I might change Pacher to be medium soft. I'm not sure. Like no one else has pitted. Perez is out as well. Not a good start for Red Bull to their season. I think if we pit, we just pit and then we come out behind loads of traffic that we have to try and get through on the mediums. And no one else pitted anyway. Oh, was it Perez who caused the incident? It's because the commentator said, look at here is Leclerc or whatever. But actually, yeah, you're right. Perez didn't turn, did he? Perez got the, Perez got the, uh, the angry message. Have you guys noticed if one car locks up, hits a car, and then the car that got hit hits another car, the uh, the game basically attributes blame to, like, the car that got hit. If that makes any sense. I feel like I explained that horrifically. Ma maybe you know what I meant. I think we made the right decision not to pit. I, I think if we pitted, we would have been in trouble. A good kind of measure for it would be how Leclerc does getting through all the traffic. Copy. Okay, big restart. I don't think we've ever had a restart where we're this near the front. Yeah, Max hasn't got through the traffic at all. I think Payton would have been a mistake. Oh my, are you really going for this, George? Is he really going to try and have a go around the, around the outside? If you want to go for it, mate, I'll back you. I'll back you, George! This is your Haas debut. Do it for the viewers. Do it for the believers. 
Do it for the people who told me I should have kept Kevin Magnuson. Those deluded imbeciles. Sorry if you're one of them. I don't mean it. You're all right. Yeah, take it easy. I'm just bitter about the fact you'll okay. tell me off of a mick. Let's just have a quick look at strategy here, because these softs are now going to last way longer with that safety car. I think we go to the medium softs with Pusher. Lap 19, and then we'll pit a lap. So we can pit later with George as well. We've updated where. There's a yellow flag sector too. Who's had a moment now? Oh, S Ocon. Ocon's had a moment. What's happening this race? Now have a watch of this. Looks like Ocon. They've locked up for What's happening? This is mad. I'll switch to being a Merc fan. Let's be honest. If you are one of the Magnuson stands right now, you are just willing my demise at the hands of Kevin Magnuson. Driving for our rival team who finished just behind us in the championship. This has been a really interesting start to the race. I think the safety car makes the medium softs the better option. Chat, Mick's not last. Mick is not last. I feel like with Russell, we just want to try and harvest behind signs. Obviously, there's no DRS now because of the safety car. Uh, my directors want me to get third in the championship. Um, which is what we got last year. I think mean, that's pretty reasonable to do this year. Last year was a bit more of a struggle, but I feel like we've got way better infrastructure now. Okay, energy's good. Cover it. What left lap do we reckon Signs is going to pit? He's on softs too, right? Wow, his signs are way more... Their tyres are so much more worn than ours. Russell is just a smooth criminal on his tyres. He just looks after them. It's great. As things stands, are we leading the constructors? Right, stop the count. Stop the count. Can we end the count now? Can we call it a day? I want to harvest with Pusher, but I can't really do it until DRS is re-enabled. Massey cool off the season. <laughs> Not a great day for Red Bull. Although, kind of happened in real life, didn't it? Uh, their rough first season. Well, first race of the season at Bahrain. Alpine had a really strong end to last season. Alpine were consistently getting... Well, they had two cars in quali this, like, this first race of the season, but they were good last season as well. I feel like they and Merck are going to be our big rivals for third. When do I think Alonso will retire? Great question. I'm not sure. Pit window's in one lap for the medium. So we're going to do three, four more laps for Pacher. It's all fine. I kind of want to get close to these guys and then just harvest with Pacher. You're doing a good job. Did I see Max complain about GPs reating in game? I didn't. I didn't. Some of the engineers and staff do seem to have really funky ratings. Yeah, Russell's up at the front now, chat. Easy. We have. We have. Oh, scientist pitting. Right. 
Hmm, they're pitting. I kind of want to go an app. I want to go a bit longer, but I guess we're going now. Why are they pitting so early? Are they going for hards or mediums? Hards, hards. Do I just mat cover them here with hards too? I feel like these soft. So they're going to go soft, hard, soft. Now I want to go soft, medium, soft. But if they're. If they're going for the hards, I think I just cover them by going on the hards too. Because I think we've got the pace. But I think we can go for an extra few laps before we pit. Um, if I do that, lap 18 on George, lap 17. Oh, wait, no, they're pitting on the same lap. Uh, and they're now set to pit on the same lap. We'll do Peshera lap sooner. But we're going to push hard on these softs now with both drivers. I mean, we can afford to push harder. But Cher's still got Bottas ahead of him Push to give him a bit of a toe. I might end up keeping Cher out for as long as Bottas is out, but I think Bottas pits this lap. Unless Merck are going to go for the soft, medium, softs. I expect Bottas or Magnussen to pit this lap. And we stay on harvest on Pesher. If he pits, though, charge on, charge on. We have to go back up. All right, time to push, lads. Fastest lap of the race for Russell. I'm going to go on to hards. Can you leave George out an extra lap? I can't really double stack them. It's a bit too close. Charge this. this is okay. This is okay. Kevin's not made a mistake yet, chat. Is the game realistic? Imagine if now that he's left my team, he's just amazing. Can I use a lift off of it? What did Bottas go on to? So Bottas has gone mediums. I'm going to stick on the hards. Because I think the hards give you a bit more of a window to wait out a safety car. If you feel so inclined, or at least save ourselves for softs at the end. I'm also sat thinking what the wear is on the softs that I have to go on to, and I don't think I have fresh softs for both drivers. I don't love losing time behind an Alfa Romeo, though. Oh, Pesher. Is Pesher going to be able to get into the pits this lap with the Alpha? Okay, we're fine. I wish I could change the tyre modes here. Of course, they pitted the same lap. It made no difference. Can we get them in the pits? Can we get Alpha Romeo in the pits? Um, I might go medium mediums on George because that second set of hot softs I put on are going to have to be used. I'm changing the strategy. Some would say I'm making up as I go along. Box, box. They're probably correct. Yes, box. I can't update his strategy even though I've told him that we're going on to mediums. Excellent. Love this game. I say that. <laughs> of all the complaints to have, that is a minor one. We couldn't get the alpha in the pit. I think we lost half a second. I think we've had a car run wide. Who's run wide there? Bottas. Bottas is pushing hard. Pacher's tire management isn't as good. I'd rather have him push hard on the these hard, uh, hards and then go on to mediums if we need to. What's George's lap times looking like? 136.6. He is lapping fast. 
Signs is stuck behind Ghastly. And this overcut's going to work. I'm going to delay the pit stop a lap. Am I going to delay the pit stop a lap? Nah, I'm not doing that. I'm not... I'm. We're not delaying it a lap. 32 is a bit marginal to get round for another lap. Push. Yeah, Roger. So, Ocon and Stroll haven't pitted. Neither has Magnussen. Is Magnussen going to follow us in here? Yeah. We are way up the road there on Russell. Signs lost a lot of time in the pits. We should maybe come out back ahead of Signs. Should maybe. That's when you know I'm really certain on something, chat. We should maybe come out ahead of Signs. I think it's clear, right? Yeah, wow, that's... Yeah, that's really good. Really, really good. Holy crap. Overcut worked a dream. Let's update the strategy on George, though, because at the moment, he doesn't... We're just telling him to drive to the end. Right, George, this is plan seven. G. We'll go with G. Is G the seventh letter of the alphabet? I don't know. I have to, have to select the plan, too. There we go. Okay, Russell's behind Leclerc. Tell you what, Leclerc stopping when he did after that crash has actually worked out pretty nicely for him because he didn't. we were wondering if he'd have to make his way through the traffic. But actually what happened was the traffic just all pitted in front of him. Is that 81% way? He's probably going to have to go mediums. Got to be a bit more patient with Pichere. I think Leclerc will probably pit for us for mediums. He can't go to the end on those hards. Okay, chat. Okay, this is playing out pretty interestingly. Leclerc, like, has bizarrely got fortunate. He was obviously pitted during the safety car because of the damage from the Perez incident. And because people pitted so soon, he's just been able to make his way through. Russell is a long way up the road from signs, which is great. We're in a decent spot, though, on the whole. Switch out, John. You don't understand how he's 10 seconds ahead, though. Because he pitted during the safety car... And you lose less time by pitting in the, when a safety car's out. The overcut on uh, Russell definitely worked. He managed to build up like a, that cushion to these guys. He was lapping about a second and a half faster for three laps. I don't think the Alfa Romeo's that quick. Like, George without DRS is definitely keeping a gap to Gasly and signs. With Peshera, I kind of want to just chill back here, harvest, and then when we find the right moment, just push, try and get past them, and then just break the DRS. But George is going to be really smooth on his tyres here. Like these mediums, we can push on quite hard. Peshera's tyres aren't too bad either. The big thing is, can Pacher catch up also? Magnuson should be said. Magnuson's running the mediums. And he is right up behind Pacher. Chat, the prediction. The prediction. Kevin Magnuson now driving for Mercedes against his former teammate in the Haas. Why do I feel like he's just going to hit Teo? Why do I feel like this is going to end in a crash? I gave him... He has got 93 overtaken. It's true. I'm scared. 
It's like I'm watching a nature documentary of a predator. It's like Magnuson's an owl. And Pasher's a poor little vole in the in the field. I'm scared. Push, Teo, push. Is Russell catching Leclerc? He is, half a second a lap. Go on, George, lad. Just do what you can. Copy. I don't like it, chat. I don't like it. Could Russell really catch Leclerc by the end? Out of all the animal predators, you went with an owl. Owls are cool. Owls are cool. Hey, Papa G, I might have to, I might have to bring Kevin and Mick home. It might have to be done. Oh no, chat. He's on the mediums. Kevin's on the faster tyre. I didn't realise actually gas these on the mediums too. Because Russell managed to extend his tyres, I think we can go medium, medium here. No problem. Also, Russell's smoothness stat is so good that even though we're really aggressive, it's not going down too much. What's Russell's contract like? It's like 8 million a year for three years. It's like double what Magnuson was on, but it's still a very cheap contract in the grand scheme of things. There's going to come a point here with Teo where I really want us to push. This might be premature. I think this is the lap. Oh, I think this is the lap. Down this straight. DRS on the Ferrari. Into the next DRS zone. DRS on Gasly. Then we get them done in sector two. Ah, oh, this is an awkward spot to be a bit boxed in. Russell's looking very, very good so far, chat. Very, very good. Okay, we wait a lap. We wait a lap. I think with Pache, we try and push these hards hard with a view to go to mediums instead of softs to end. Yeah, Kev got like nine mil. George is only George's contract in game is really low. I hope you, George, George, if you're watching this in real life, get a new agent, mate. Because according to the game, you're getting two million a year. Apparently, in game, according to the game, you're getting half the amount of money that Magnuson gets, and that ain't right. Our car, well, Russell especially, is just faster than this train. I feel like if Pacheco can get by. He shout can make P for free. Signs and Gasly have just been squabbling away. Magnuson's vibing behind too. I'd offer to be George's agent. I will volunteer. That's actually a really good point, uh, Fallen Kaiser. Yeah, the top five cars right now are all running Ferrari engines. Is the Ferrari engine the superior engine? I mean, Gasly and Sainz are just trading spots with one another. We're just vibing behind, saving fuel, charging battery. Pushing a bit harder on Russell, but we can afford to do that. Uh, this is season t uh, three. Season three now. We've moved forward a, a year. Uh, there's a salary driver salary cap IRL right. I don't think there is. 
obviously they brought in cost caps for the team's expenditures, but I'm pretty sure they made an exemption for like the top earners. Like there's like a top like five people who don't count towards your cap. There was lots of discussion about it, but as you can perhaps imagine, the drivers pushed back quite heavily on it. Uh, I agree, Stewie, that about the Ferrari rear wing. Chat, okay, I was very underwhelmed by the Ferrari livery when I saw it announced this week. But when I saw it on track in practice sessions and today, I quite liked it a lot. With the medium tyres on in practice, with the yellow rim, rim on the tyres, with all the yellow on the livery. Oh, my word, like... That that was perfection. I hope they run the mediums in the race tomorrow just so I can enjoy that sight some more. Use overtake button. Russell is closing that gap. Okay, chat. Conspiracy theory time here. I think deploy is better than overtake in this game, even for overtaking. I think overtake is fine if you're not micromanaging the, tr the laps and you just want to leave it on for a lap or two to try and get a move done. But if you're microing laps or you're changing it like repeatedly, I think oh, like uh, deploy is just better. I feel like it's the same with defend. Like, if you're not microing lap to lap, just leave it in overtake. Otherwise, deploy, I think, is just better. And deploy ensures that they use the battery during the lap. Right, Teo, this is the time to really try and make this work. Pass with an overtake. Oh, my word, Teo. Push, 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 push. I know your tyres are hot. I know they're warm. That's the We're behind on the detection line. We get DRS here. This move is sticking. This move is sticking. Yellow flag sector two. Is that Mick? I mean, Mick's gone off, chat. New fastest lap for Pusher. I think there's been a lock oh, Mick. A Mick. Right, watch this. There's Schumacher. Well, they've locked up. He didn't hit a wall. He's fine. He's fine, everyone. What does neutral do? Your driver uses as much as they harvest during the lap. So it's like a net nothing, if that makes sense. Okay, Gasty is... Did Gasty get DRS there? If he did, it was very close. All right, we want Taylor to get more than a second ahead what here. Mick did nothing wrong. Mick being a Mick fan's tough. Chat, I'm sorry. Uh, Teo's overall is only like 75. But most of his weakness is in his, like, in his overtaking, defending, and adaptability. His other stuff is all kind of in the, like, I feel like 70s and above now. Okay, Pesher is driving amazingly here, chat. Magnussen's in fourth, though. Munker S. Bunker S, he's coming. He's chasing us. Magnuson managed to get both of them done. I've just read Magnuson's in fourth. This is scary. Do you reckon Magnuson would be angry in this real world situation? Replaced like in January with a year left on his contract, given a seat. And the team of the driver he was replaced by. His chance of retribution. It's a bit of a villain, like, uh, origin story, isn't it? It's a bit of a villain. It's a bit of a villain origin story when I think about it. I mean, he is getting five million more. That's true. He is securing the bag. Yellow flag sector two. Has Mick crashed again? Mick, mate. Shout. I feel like F1 isn't for him. Sounds like someone's locked up. Here's Chat. The Right, watch this. There's Schumacher. Oh, and there's the lockup. That's the last thing they'll have wanted. I, I, mate, plumbing? Plumbing's good. Plumbing's a good career. Or electrician? I just think, I feel like this, the car thing's not working. 
I mean, streamer. Come be a streamer, Mick. We've not managed to get out of DRS range of Ghastly by as like comfortable a margin as I was hoping. Mick collab stream when? I feel like if he watched any of my streams, he wouldn't want to do anything with me. Oh, Ghastly was slow there. I think we're good. Two seconds ahead. Now you guys fight. Just bash into each other. Battery situation is not good. Russell is still chasing down Leclerc, by the way. Saving point, point 0.7 seconds that last lap. He is reeling him in. And the wear on these mediums, considering we were fully pushing on them, he is making them last. It's mad. Gastly, please protect us. Shot on, shot on. I want to harvest through this sec sector. On push air. Should be good to run neutral now. Boat race. Uh, how's Leclerc's wear looking? Leclerc's at 61% wear. I mean, yeah, tyres are good. Who's locked up? Who's had a moment now? Was it in a chat? I think it was Mick again. Has Mick locked up again? Uh, Chat. Take a look now. Chat. Right, watch this. There's Schumacher. And there's the lock. It's like three times in four laps. I'm a bit concerned, chat. It's the car. It's the car. Copium. It's the car's fault. <laughs> Are his tyres cooked from all this locking up? Uh, his tyres aren't great, but they're not awful. It's Latifi's car. So he's suggesting that Latifi isn't the problem either. I'm ruining my Saturday night. I'm sorry, chat. And the good news is Magnussen's not that far behind Pacher. I mean, what would be the idea is if Magnussen could just do what he does best and take out Signs, because Signs, I think, will catch us. Now he's at the front. Russell is going to be in striking distance with Leclerc in about four or five laps. That's Leclerc just there, not far away. The share is definitely getting caught by Magnussen and co. I need them to squabble more. Gasly... Magnuson and Signs have just been swapping spots behind, but they are slowly but surely catching. Magnuson's catching, chat. He's catching us. But so Signs, they're just slingshotting each other with DRS and just eating into our lead with that. This is uh, now uh, season three rugby rulings, yeah. Russell's looking very, very good right now. Got to watch his fuel slightly, but he can get really aggressive on these mediums. He's very close, Leclerc's very close. Energy if you need it. Let's deploy down this straight, try and close it as much as we can. I wouldn't even mind sitting behind uh, Leclerc for a lap or two, just harvesting the battery to then push on. Because I think he's going to pit sooner than us. Right, 
No saving required. Gap's Come down on. to 1.2. I think K-Mag did bet on himself, chat. I mean, that's a legitimate theory. New fastest lap. All right, DRS here. Now we just harvest. Now we can chill behind Leclerc for a bit. We know that we have the pace. We know that he's on the hards and we're on the mediums. We've got DRS to just close the gap up here. Let's get that battery charged. Meanwhile, Magnus and Sides are right behind Pacher. Teo! How's their wear compared to his? We've been eating for our hards fast. How was last season? We got third in the constructors. I binned off Kevin Magnuson and got him Russell, and then Magnuson went to Merck. Um. Russell last year finished below per share in the Drivers' Championship, but I feel like he got shafted a lot by Mercedes. In some ways, I wouldn't mind one of these guys taking the lead over per share. Because I, I can go harvest then and just sit behind. Basically what we're doing with Russell. Uh, just rejoined the stream. and came back plus Bottas being the new Merc Drivers is beautiful. Agreed. Agreed. Oh, and Ferrari just gained a place. Okay, both our drivers are just going to chill out now. Safe fuel, safe you don't have to pass him. He wants okay. to pass him. He wants to. If he gets us back in the next section, it's fine. This is good. We are faster than the Ferrari with DRS. We need to lift off. Yeah, it's not even close. Like, we're getting them done before the corners. With an overtake there. That's fine. If Leclerc gets us back, we just want to be behind, really. It's still a lot to play for. Our calling's not the best, but we're very good at driving in dirty air and not losing time. The race oh, Magnus has just done Pacher chat. This is okay, though. This is a bit of a patience game. Kevin's back, everyone. He's returned. News of his death was greatly exaggerated. Oh, my word. George is just in the clear there. Oh. Just keep doing what you're doing. We got the thing where we fuck up the exit of the corner for the other car. We're not in now we're out of DRS, we push. Push, 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 push. They could have got shafted. That turn there, sometimes you just lose a load of time getting squeezed the way the driving works. So if it happens to you, it's really annoying. When it happens to the AI, use it use it. <laughs> Cause it makes a big difference. Can push a bit more. Okay, Pichet's tire wear is looking a bit extreme, but we're going to put on mediums for his last stint. I think we're going to try and undercut these other guys if we can find a gap to put him into. If we pit now with Pichet, we'll come out between Vettel and Stroll. I'm pretty sure. How much quicker are we lapping than the other guys? Times are pretty comparable across the board. Obviously, we lost time that last lap because we were getting overtaken. But like, Bottas standing 11th is lapping as fast as these guys at the top. So actually, pitting into that gap might not be a bad idea. Because I don't think we'll catch the train super easily. Imagine if Magnuson takes out signs here. That'd be good. I'd like that. <laughs> I'm willing for it to happen. He can't have a clean race on his debut, can he? Yellow flag set to one. One of the Astons. 
VSC, VSC, VSC. VSC, VSC, VSC. I think it's the two Aston Martins hit each other. I think Joe spun out and then Stroll hit him. And several cars involved. Let's see what happened there. Now look at this. It was the Alpha Tauri driver involved. Oh. <laughs> Sorry, it shouldn't be funny. I'm not going to pit for the VSC here. It's too early. <laughs> Why was that crash funny? Oh, Leclerc, you are a slippery bugger. Is he going to run hards to the end now because he started on... They're going mediums now to the end. They reckon they can make the mediums work now to the end. I mean, maybe they can, but that's bold. Where's he going to come out? I mean, it's a free, it's a cheaper pit stop, I suppose. I might pit for hards on... I don't know if I need to pit with Russell. The VSC might end, though, I think, before we get around. Bottas pitted as well in that. Yeah, VSC's over. I've not got another set of hards to put on for Shero, as I'd maybe get be more tempted with him. VSC ending, VSC ending. We can push again now. Copy. All right, George, you've got clean air time to push. Look, Russell looked really good in clean air before. Shen needs to make this move work, otherwise Sainz and Magnussen are going to vanish up the road. Yeah, Sainz is... Uh, sorry, not Sainz. Leclerc is going to have to nurse those tyres to the end. But they were kind of screwed with him anyway because they pitted earlier than everyone else for the hards. Do what you can because of the... Cool. Um, what do you call it? Because of the fact they pitted him earlier when he got hit by Perez. Who locked up sector one? Who's had a moment? Is it? It can't be Mick again. I think it's uh, Sonoda. Good job. Okay, it was Sonoda. Yeah, I have noticed in the VSC that AI does seem to make up time. It's like the stuff you set here does actually affect it. I probably shouldn't have turned it all down, but hopefully it's fine. Tao needs to catch these guys in front for the DRS. Is the, is gas the, oh, there's no DRS, is there, of course, because it's, uh, what do you call it, been a VSC and how it works in game. I mean, that kind of works in our favour with Russell, right? Because it's going to make it harder for, well, anyone to get a toe off one another to close the gap. I think Russell's fast enough to clear Prescher and Co. Like, he's lapping so much faster a lap. I feel like if I leave him out in the front, we'll be able to pit, potentially get him out... It's hard to know because the he'll probably come out behind Leclerc, perhaps perhaps behind Verstappen as well because of the pitting during the VSC. Thing is, I might be asking Bashir to run longer on these hards to hold up Leclerc. I still think the Ferrari's the faster car. Save fuel and follow that. Russell's got a pit in two laps anyway. Charge on, charge on. I'm really tempted to be more reactive with these guys in front rather than proactive. I'm tempted to pit the lap after they do for the mediums. Because Magnussen has to pit sooner. 
If I can just sit behind a charge, I think I'd just go for an overcut here rather than sticking to my strategy. I think we're going to have to overtake Leclerc on track, but we've already hunted him down once, and I think to make his tyres last, he's going to have to conserve them. Um, hmm. Yeah, I think with Pichier, we just keep him out and overcut these guys. Use DRS to just charge, save a bit of fuel. That we just push hard. We've got so much more pace, I feel like, in clear air compared to a lot of these teams. It's going to be really close, though, at the end, chat. So we're going to pit wrestle this lap for mediums. It'll be very interesting to see where he comes out. I think Pichet lost DRS there, but if these guys squabble, it'll be fine. Yeah, he's made, made it up. Okay, Russell is going to pit. We're going to have to make some moves on track here, folks. Magnussen's pitted this lap. Interesting. I might leave Pacher out. I was going to say I might leave Pacher out long. That's going to be tricky too. Sainz has no one to bail him out now. Okay, Russell has come out ahead of Verstappen just. But we are down the road from uh, Leclerc. Uh, JJ8, mate, thank you for some with the Prime. I appreciate the love a lot, mate. I've not got enough battery with Russell to deploy, to be honest. Verstappen, is Verstappen pitted twice? No, Verstappen's still got to pit again. Gasly's going to be pitting before too long. I don't think we'll catch Gasly before he's a problem. Okay, Pichet's taking the lead of the race here. Yep. I think Sainz is going to pit this lap. Good job so far. Save fuel. I want us to try and slow down Leclerc more than Signs. I think Signs pits this lap. But we can use Teo to hopefully back Leclerc in a little bit more. The thing is, do I want to back him up if Signs pits? I want Signs to stay out. Thank you, Carlos. I need to be ahead for this next sector. Verstappen's pitted two. So Russell is now running four and a half behind. Oh, and Ferrari just gained a place. Is Pichet going to make this move work? I need you ahead for this sector, mate. I need you ahead here, Teo. If you put a hold back on cars, uh, put ERS in defense. You don't want to do that, honey. Because you'll just get done after two laps. If you leave it in neutral, the cars do a pretty good job of defending anyway. Um, C H R S B C K N H M. I assume this is like Chris Beckenham. That's what I'm going to guess your name is, and you removed all the vowels. Sorry if I've just doxed you on stream. Apologies. Thank you for summoning the tier one, though. I appreciate the love massively. One more lap, Teo. One more lap. It could be Brockman chat. We can all guess. We can all take guesses. Maybe not. Maybe not. <laughs> I was right. I'm a genius. I mean, because that's what genius is. No DRS here is going to be brutal. We have to deploy, I think, to keep the gap. But the good news is Leclerc is getting slowed. And Ferrari still aren't pitting their drivers. Thing is, in doing this, I'm probably opening up the opportunity for Gasly to make up ground. Oh, we might come out behind Gasly and have to overtake him on track with Pichet. 
but I'm kind of okay with that. Nice, Teo. Teo's going to pit this lap. I'm going to put him on mediums. Hey, Chris, thank you for gifting us as well, mate. That's very, very generous of you. King Numpty! The king of the numpties is uh, is in our chat. Why does that not surprise me? Um, that's a title I can only aspire for. <laughs> you can now raise some Madu because you've now got a gifted sub. I don't think we've got any fresh so softs to go on to. I mean, could I put on softs to the end? Mm. I feel like the performance difference between tyres is so small that softs are a, a bit... I don't want to say obsolete. I guess we've made those those hards last way longer than I expected. Pacher just likes to eat tires, and if I want to go aggressive, I think mediums are the play. Because I'm going to want to get aggressive as well, because I think we're going to have to overtake... Uh, I think we're going to have to overtake Gasly on track. Okay, Pache, you've done your job, mate. Just get out, the, get out of the way of George at a good time. Preferably on this straight without costing us time. Thank you, mate. All right, Russell, not quite in DRS, unfortunately, but close. How many more races tonight? I think I've got Jeddah in me. Not not literally in me, but I think, I think we'll do Jeddah tonight. Ferrari's giving themselves DRS here. But our, our pace is good. Science is going to have to pit soon as well. I kind of want to get behind the Ferraris here, charge the battery. Is Pacher going to come out ahead of Gasly? We lost a lot of time backing up Leclerc, which is kind of just a time I was ex willing to take. That's not a good stop. Russell's in a good position to win this race suddenly. Safe fuel, safe fuel. Covering. The chairs come out behind Bottas and Gasly. Gasly's three seconds up the road. Who's locked up? Oh, 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 chat. Chat, you know who's locked up. You know, you know who's locked up. I know who's locked up. Let's have a look. Oh, let's enjoy this. And yes, that's the lock up. Ah, oh. feels good when it's not him. Kevin! Go on, Kevin! Oh, chat. He's waiting to get back on. I feel Is bad for him. Pacher's up to six. Bottas next up the road. Ghastly after that. There's a, there's a P1 and P3 on the cards here, folks. Pacher's up to fifth. That's Gasly just up the road. Good job. Signs hopefully pits this lap. He does. Perfect. Thank you, Carlos. Pass with an overtake. Retire Teo, please. I can't do it. I can't do it. I'm sorry to the fans of look he could still crash. Bashir could still have a mistake. Okay, Russell can now chill behind Leclerc, who's on more worn tyres and just harvest up. 20 second gap to signs. Okay, Mac can climb back up. Mm. I've seen him do some recovery drives, but I don't think I've ever seen him come from 14th. So Sainz is now pitted. He's holding up gas. This is basically the situation we were in before. Yeah, I'm going to just wait with George. We don't really need to make the move now. We've got fresher tyres. The car's faster. Like we've seen how much quicker we can be. Big thing for Pacheco is trying to get him in range. But the issue I've got is there's not much ERS to make it happen. I wouldn't really mind if Bottas got past us. Also, Verstappen is driving the recovery drive of his life and could be part of this. 
Do I think Mercedes are happy with their new signing from Haas? I think they're delighted. Okay, Gasly's not going to have DRS on this next straight. We might be able to slingshot him and then get right behind the signs, even with Harvest on. Was it a bug last lap when signs pitted and judging get DR DR DRS off it? I didn't actually notice that. It depends on where the detection zone is. Oh, George made the move. George made... I'm telling him to chill, and he, he doesn't know how to chill. Did he do the thing where he squeezes him? Oh, it wasn't even that... Cool. For some reason, I was thinking that was the bit in Sector 2. I mean, I'm still happy for us to harvest a little bit here. He needs clean air, chat. Remember what we heard on lap one? He needs clean air. He found the clean air. Uh, he has been re-overtaken, but we don't panic. Yeah, Whoa, don't give me that sass, Georgie boy. Stay cool, man. You're doing a good job. Exactly. Exactly, Mitchell. I feel like George's tone in all his radio messages is that of a man who's been driving for Williams and is fed up of their shit. You know, I can understand why he's a bit arsy in the messages, I'll be honest. Good job. Oh, chat, we're about to lap Mick. Is that a new race What's that going round turn one? Is it a monster? No, it's Mick Schumacher. It doesn't quite fit the song, does it? Yeah, if you if you put a prediction on the Magnuson situation, bad news. I really need Pacher to catch signs, but without battery and DRS, it's going to be difficult. This has been a really good opening drive for us, though. Both drivers look solid. I probably jinxed it with 11 laps left, but everyone's doing good. Uh, by the way, you said Verstappen had the recovery drive of his life. Ocon was last at one point. To be fair, Ocon had only pitted once, whereas Verstappen has pitted twice. <laughs> Has Ferrari title battle? What the people want? Russell is getting a lovely charged battery here, just trailing behind Leclerc. It's a good time. Italian pizza versus American pizza. <laughs> That's the real battle. Okay, battery's charged. Yellow flag sector two. Teo's fine. Teo's not fine. He ran wide. Teo, did you fuck up? Tayo! Tayo! I've got my stress ball. <gasps> oh my lord! Stress ball. Stress ball. Check the data. Check the data. He nearly lost half the car there going back onto the road after running wide. Did he get any damage? He didn't damage his nose, but he's just been overtaken by everyone. Hey, I've been so patient with you there, mate. I jinxed it. I actually jinxed it. Right, plan of attack with Russell Air. He's going to get the move done, and then he's going to do the thing where you squeeze out the other driver and they lose all pace. Use energy. Yeah, Roger. They'll come to us. Copy. Yeah, take it easy. Oh, we didn't get the thing where you make Leclerc slam the brakes there. We might be able to get DRS off Ke uh, um, Mick here. Mick, can you go a bit slower? Mick, I need DRS of you here, mate. Mick, I need the DRS. I need the arse. The air resistance suppression effect. 
I feel like I change the, the suffix every time. Oh, not suffix. What's it called? Uh, chat, why has the word gone from my head? Acronym. Bloody hell. Words. English. Hard. Help. We didn't get DRS. We should get it here, though. Mick, if you could block Leclerc, I will love you. Mick, sw swerve across. Mick, block him. Mick. Mick. He's had to slam the brake. Love Mick Schumacher. Two seconds gain there. That was, that was like I actually told him what to do. He actually did it exactly. <laughs> exactly. I have powers, chat. I have powers. I, I went into my mind palace and controlled him. He's our agent. He's actually just, oh no, so much time now. Wow. Michelle's just overtaken Verstappen, by the way. He won't get the credit he deserves for that. Pass with an overtake there. Russell's 2.8 seconds at the road. The battery was so charged. We were waiting for that window to push. That window is now. Do we have a go here with Pacher? I think we do. I don't like having to make the move around the outside here. Okay, nice, Teo. Both drivers are driving well. Okay, Russell just set the fastest lap there with the help of Mick. Life's good, chat. Life's good. Russell is driving perfectly right now. Bottas might get us on the straight. We'll go to Poi to try and protect. Gasly is 1.6 seconds up the road. Oh my god, what is happening here? What have I walked into? Oh, we've been just squeezed. I don't get claustrophobia. I felt claustrophobic. I mean, to be fair, Verstappen and Bottas are faster than Gasly, so as long as that we can use them... George is quick, isn't he? Drivers make a big difference, it turns out, in this game. Who would have thought? Uh, Von Ju, thank you very much for subbing the Prime. I appreciate chat. The amount of people sub right now is actually hurting my brain. I talked about it a little bit recently, but like the numbers we've been doing on stream recently have been mind-blowing. If you're someone who's wandered in today, this isn't normal. Like, I've never had more than a thousand subscribers on Twitch, or like consistently more than a thousand viewers on Twitch. And like in the last two weeks, it's just gone with this game, which is wicked. I'm loving it. I hope you guys are enjoying the streams. But it's a little bit difficult to fathom. Every time someone subs, I'm like, how many is that now? Like, we've never had more than a 1,000. We now have over 1,350 of you beautiful people. It, it hurts my brain. Yellow flag set to free. It wasn't Pacher, was it? Was it Gasly? I think I'm having Gasly run wide. It was Gasly. Go on, my son! Get him off. Get him off to the harvest. We push, we push, we go, we race. We work the pace. That's what actually is space, but ignore that. Oh, we just got squeezed. That's just sad. Everything's fine. Only 600 more to get Mick back. Yeah, chat. Mm. Mm. Is it work the pace, leave the space? There's been different variations suggested. New to the game, why isn't Gasly evolved into Haunter? He's holding an Everstone. Also, I think he's only lap, uh, he's only level 18 at the moment. Alpha Romeo keep just training him on Route 1 with all the normal types, and it's not been going well for him. Good reference, right? Work the arse. I don't think we'll be using that name. <laughs> Right, deploy. 
Tao, this is your moment. This is your moment. All songs are sad. And then we got in the awesome. Do 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 Go on, my son. Go on, my son, please. I'm sad. Everything's fine. How's Russell's laps compared to Leclerc's? Oh, my God. He's lapping like 0.4 faster. To be fair, we are pushing more because we can. I don't know if our car's actually good yet. I mean, it's looked good in race conditions. Like, we're good in dirty air. There's definitely been a bit of luck involved with, like, the uh, the Schumacher situation. I've left that way too late. I feel like this train is the reason that Sainz is going to end up getting third. Teo, 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 Teo. It's worked. See you later, Max. I'm using so much battery here. Should be okay with just DRS, right? 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 Please, get out the way, Gasly. I'm finding myself st consistently qualifying third row behind, but finishing podiums. I think strategy slash micromanaging definitely allows you to have in the AI. Yeah, Dan, I, I think the AI needs to be more aggressive at race starts. I feel like the AI doesn't put its cars on, like, deploy or overtake or, like, just more aggressive at race starts in general. I think that would make a big difference. I think you make up a lot of spots on the first few laps before DRS is active in this game. Bashir is thinking about it. Bashir is thinking about it. I, I am keeping an eye on the fuel. I think we're okay. Kind of want to get past Bottas here and then just save and harvest behind Gasly. Uh, the AI definitely conserve tires and stuff. They just don't seem to push in the same way. Magnuson and Bottas and Merck, what the hell? It's a good timeline, right? Shout on, shout on. Russell is just vibing, chat. Safe fuel, safe fuel. Yeah, I want to say that I'm watching the YouTube videos and I'm loving the Has content. Still on season one, but I hope things go well. Hey, thank you, Ali Stinky. I'm glad you're able to catch up on the stuff. And I'm glad you're enjoying them. Don't don't look too much at this screen for spoilers. Someone locked up. But where? Who's had a moment? Was it Magnuson again? Let's take a Chat. All eyes Chat. Kevin Magnuson here. It's a lockup. And that it's not just for me. It's not just for me. It's just shit for everyone. It's fine. Circular Alex, thank you for subbing with the tier one. Welcome aboard. You sub right in time to enjoy Magnuson's crash. And Chris, thank you for gifting out another sub. That is very, very generous of you. 
What's McLaren doing? Well, they've given Lewis Hamilton like 28 million a year. I'm hoping if I harvest for a few laps here, we will just have enough at the end to get past both these guys. I don't think we're catching signs up the road, sadly. I don't think it's Pichet's traction just goes through. I think it's because I've got him in harvest. Like, it impacts his speed out of corners quite a lot. Whereas with neutral, they consistently use a little bit of battery out of most exits. I can imagine Toto shouting, no, Kevin, no. I can imagine that. <laughs> Yeah, Gasly's tyres are at 31%. His tyres are not going to last. Verstappen's are going to be pretty marginal as well. It's very difficult to pass these guys. The DRS is just so strong in game. Bottas and K-Mag on the same team is a weird timeline. It's like they're actively throwing. So I think we harvest one more lap here and then deploy the last two. Really try and push hard with them. Verstappen is right behind us, but he's not making a move. Bottas is really good in game. I think with Bottas, it's just more the fact he'd go back to Merck. is a bit of a weird one. Switch out, Trump. Jack, you have more views than Bob Ross. Oh, my word. Maybe now my mum will respect my profession. I don't know why they're pit. Why are they pitting Joe if they just realised his tyres aren't going to last? They're putting him on mediums for two laps. I don't know either. Joe's pitting for fastest lap. Maybe that's it. Two to go. Two to go. Leclerc's catching a little, but we can lean on the tyres and the fuel a bit more. No DRS for this straight. It's always weird. Okay. Gastly, please go right. Gastly, please go... Okay. We lost so much time behind Gastly there. Bottas cleared him as well, which is a shame. Keep this approach. Good job so far. Signs is not going to be catchable, but fourth would be pretty good if we can hold on to it here. I just hold it, hoping that I charged enough battery. Yeah, I agree, the asshole. Yeah, Leclerc stopped under the VSC and he stopped under the safety car as well. He got a few cheap stops. Like, obviously, he pitted under the safety car, and after all the stops was 10 seconds ahead on hards, and Russell reeled him in, and then he obviously pitted under the safety car, and then Russell had to do it again. Russell's looked really good on actual race pace here. Why not use defend on Pacher? I find, in general, defend and overtake are not very good, unless you are micromanaging, um, like, well, sorry, if, unless you're not micromanaging... Uh, most of the time, you're better off just putting on deploy, like when you want your driver to push. We want a cutscene, Jack. Please tell Teo to crash. He's not crashing. It's going to be fine. Bottas has DRS, but he can't catch us. 
Still got to worry about the next DRS zone. It might be a case if we have to let Bottas back and then try and get him in Sector 2. Big. Georgie Russ. What a driver. What a man. Deploy for the rest of the lap. Go for fastest lap again, son. He's had the race pace today. Okay, folks. I think it's done. I don't want to jinx it, but I don't think Magnussen can get us here. <laughs> Magnussen. Magnussen definitely can't. I don't think Bottas can get us here. Not with the amount of charge we have. Oh, round the final corner. What a debut. What a debut for Georgie Russell. Welcome to Haas. Can Bashir hold off Bottas? Looks like he's going to be able to do it. Let's go. I need to get the cap out. Let's go. Let's go indeed. Oh. Oh. Get it on. What a moment. What a moment, chat. No overtake. Oh, just, just make sure we've got... Just, just getting it ready, chat. You know the deal. Come on! What a start to the season. What a start to the season. Get ready, folks. You know what's coming. But the best team... I can't play the actual podium music, so this is the alternative. I'm sorry. Come on! What did we just do? What did we just do? K-Mag in 14th as well. Come on! Come on! What a beautiful sight that is on the podium. My go. My go. Magnuson can never. Magnuson can never. Magnuson can never. Unbelievable scenes here. Get the get the champagne going, chat. Come on. Some people say I take this game too seriously. They're probably correct. Oh, what a moment. Get the music off. Get the music off. Look at that. Pacher up nine places. Russell up five. Ah, that's a very good start to the season. This, it's, I'm, very, I'm very upset about Magnus. Oh, it's a shame that any of these down in 14th. That fastest lap as well. Wow. We were fast on, that, on the actual pace. Like Verstappen, I think, was the closest in terms of speed. 132.2, though. Things we love to see. George Russell, top of the constructors. Uh, drivers has top of the constructors. I'm okay, I'm okay with that. Oh, appreciate it getting to development point as well. We're going to need to get George Pastors made, aren't we? I'm, feel I'm feeling emotional. Stop the count. Stop the count. What are we putting this in, chat? I think cornering all reactions. Maybe reactions again? I think reaction again. Teo hits his 76 overall here. Mark my words. O ox. 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 We'll, pre we'll pretend it didn't happen. Don't worry. We'll edit. We'll edit it out for the strip for the YouTube upload. It'll be fine. Oh, chat! It's one twenty-two. Do I want to do another race? I didn't think that race was going to last as long as it did, but it was one of those races where we just had to watch a lot. Do I have another race in me, or do I want to be a sensible person and go to bed? It's Jeddah though, isn't it? It's Jeddah. And it's Saturday night, so no one's going to bed anyway. I'll tell you what, chat. I'm going to nip to the loo and we're going to do Jeddah. So I'll be right back. Spam your curry dogs. 
I'll, I'll be back. Oh, we'll put the music. You can spam your curry dogs. Have fun. I'll leave you with some music. Uh, chat, take a, take a break yourselves. You know, get up, stretch your legs. We'll, we'll be back in like three minutes. Sorry, the music didn't work. The music didn't work. So the, there was no music. I put, oh, so, sorry. Sorry. I'm an amateur. Uh, Fisher gave, gifted a sub just as I went to get away. Fisher, thank you so much for gifting a sub. That's very generous of you. Chat, I just got an email. I just got an email. I've won the lottery. I won money on the lottery. Should we have, a get, have guesses? How much do you reckon I won on the lottery? How much do you reckon? I won't be able to get a Ferrari. £2.30? 30, 30p? £10? £2? 25 quid? Shut up. I earned. Earned. Because I've earned, you know, worked hard for this. £30! S. Marshall got it on the nose. Give them a coconut. I'm now a millionaire. In a country where the conversion rate's weird. Um, let's do Jeddah, shall we? Uh, do we have any parts for Jeddah? I don't mean we have any. We don't have any parts for Jeddah. Thirty pounds, though. I'm big time now. That that's gonna be like a pizza. Maybe maybe I'll be able to like uh, put my energy on, like my power on for like I don't know, like ten minutes with that. So that's good. Right. Uh, we can't inv we can't do any more research for now. We just have to get straight into Jeddah, I think. Unless, have any regens appeared now? I'm just wondering because. Wait, has anyone actually retired though? Wait, wait, Net Rutten. There's a there's a female driver in my video game. Female regens. I'm scowling like, I just want to be I'm taking the piss. I know there'll be some people going, women drivers in my video games. Wayne Net, actually there's like a good regen face. Wayne Net though, not a great name, is it? It's like the family decided they were going to have a Wayne. And then then it was, <laughs> they, they got the scan, were told it was a boy, went, Wayne's a nice name, isn't it? And then it came out, it's like, it's a girl. It's like, fuck, right, how do we, we've got all this stuff with Wayne written on it. How are we going to fix it? Is there any other regen? So the way you can spot regens at the moment in game, and I think they will be fixing this, is it doesn't have a nation for the regens. So if they don't have a nationality, that's uh, that's how you know they're a regen. I can really go through this quickly. Any any more regens? Is it, he's a regen. Kenneth Walker. He looks like a regen, doesn't he? 
He looks like a war. He, he he looks like a walker. I mean, he is a walker. This guy, Lucien Lampert, the faces are quite good. It's actually kind of hard. I think some of the regions don't generate like as young as others, though. We've got Karine Fabre. These regions actually look quite good. She was born in 2004. Family were definitely Everton fans. That makes sense. Another region. The regions actually look good. I'll give it to them. The regions actually look pretty decent. It looks like a lot of them are in F3. Waleed Dawood. He's good, but he's 21. So he's not a, not a young region, you know? I actually think I should scout Kareen. She actually looks decent in terms of she's 52 and she's 18, like 52 red and she's 18. Like compared to everyone else. We'll get Wayne. Should we scout Wayne? Let's scout Wayne as well. Why not? I want to know if they have nationalities that maybe you scout. Because I've never actually scouted one. Oliver Behrman's a real, real driver. He's a real driver. <laughs> He's doing really well in Formula 3 at the moment. <laughs> Dan, Oliver Berman. Where was he? He was, he was uh, here. Good driver. Can I pay out on the prediction? We can do that. Yeah, I'll do, I'll do it. The mods are sleeping, chat. Who finishes higher? Teo or, or K-Mag? You know the answer. Teo, our boy. All right, we're heading to Jeddah. Jeddah is a pretty chaotic racing game, I feel like. Formula One is Do we want a prediction on the uh, practice, uh, not practice, qualifying chat? Hey, take it easy, Ellen Digger. I appreciate you hanging out. Yeah, chat, I appreciate it's late. Don't feel obliged to stay up. Welcome back as we continue our race weekend. I haven't had any channel points for the last three hours since I subbed. That is weird. Someone else said earlier they weren't getting channel points. I wonder if Twitch has got a bug. Chat. We've never been this good before. We've, ne we've never been this... Right. Pr who's finishing higher? Terror or K-Mag was the last one. I reckon we do Can We Get On The Front Row. Am I getting carried away? To be fair, these times are pretty different, I feel like, a lot of the time to the actual performancey bits. I think, can we get one driver in the front row? Uh, let me let me sort out this prediction for you, you little, you little gamblers. Uh, can we get a car in the top two? Of quality, make that clear. Yes, no. I, the reason I said top two of quality rather than front row, there's two tops there. I had a brain fart midway through. Don't question it. Um, is because well, there probably won't be any penalties, but obviously penalties could happen. How did I get Russell to Haas? We finished third in the constructors and beat Mercedes twice in a row. Our car isn't that. I don't feel like our car's that highly ranked, but apparently. Apparently it's better than I, I thought it was. Right, check. I think we'll be able to get both cars out of Q1 chat. So I'm just going to get through this. Right, check. Can we get a car in the top two of quality? Yeah, it says top twice. I had a brain fart. Leave me alone. No traffic. Clean runs. Oh, maybe ghastly blocked. I think Gasly did block. Mick still went slower. Yeah, our overall speed isn't that good. So this might be a bit tricky, but we look good in the practice sessions. Do I need to go out again here? Maybe with Russell, but I think the overdrive is okay. 0.3 behind Ferrari. That is really not that bad, considering we had to pass Gasly as well. Yeah, I beat Mercedes so hard that Hamilton is now back at McLaren. 
true. That's how good we've been. I don't think Pichet needs to go out here. Yes and no. I'll tell you what. There's not many believers. I do think it could happen. The fact that Pichet is currently third. Like, Russell's just gone. Russell. Looks like there's been a lockup. This one had a lockup. We'll never know who. George Russell there. I mean, he's a little bit behind, but all it takes is some weirdness. We are massive now, chat. We are actually a good team. Was it Mick who locked up? I couldn't catch it, chat, fast yeah, enough. Good. Thing is, you could tell me it's Mick and I'd just believe it anyway. Because it just it just feels the most likely. I am, I will be honest, chat, because it is quite late. I am going to try and get through quality and maybe some of the race a little bit faster than that last one. Oh, Ocon just had a moment, and I think he's compromised both our driver's laps. I don't know how much the drivers lift for yellow flags. I'll probably get an idea here. Hmm, maybe they didn't lift that much. From 0 to 10, what are the chances of FM24 and UCL animations before the game? I reckon you'll have custom, like, scoreboards and stuff. And, like, custom, like, lineup graphics. Like, the Bundesliga has that and, like, custom goal graphics and stuff. Uh, right, we're going to make sure we get Pacher out first of these guys. Oh, my God, Russell's going to be stuck to the end. Sad. I want to believe we could go. We've never got on the front row of a podium on outright right speed. And I feel like this year we're getting closer. All right, Teo. Didn't improve in his first sector, but went faster in sector two. He's currently on the cusp. You've got to imagine Perez will go faster. He didn't go faster. That's concerning. Bashir is definitely ahead of Magnussen, though, chat. Oh, he's out. He's out the session. I'll tell you what, though. The time between these cars is crazy. Like, year one, it'd be like a second and a half between 14th and 1st in Q2. We are three years in the future, and it's less than seven tenths. How quick can George Russell go? He improves to go fourth again. These times are crazily close. Six hundredths in it. Or six hundredths, not six hundredths. Uh, six tenths. Words are hard. Where am I? It's late, chat. Leave me in peace. Let's get out early. Early time, George. You know the deal by now. Words are hard and yogurt is soft, true. Bashir is still the worst rated driver on the grid. Okay, good lap for George early. A clean lap. Initial runnings, chat. He's in third. We're definitely not slow. But also just having a good driver helps. Yeah, I agree, Dan. Uh, reserve drivers at the moment gain more XP than, like, senior drivers actually racing. It's a bit... It's not quite right, the balance on it yet. Hey, Santi. First race, we got uh, first and fourth at Bahrain. So really, really good start to the season. I mean, George Russell's in third right now. Have we ever qualified third... I don't think we've ever I don't think we've ever qualified. I'm getting a nosebleed. Never been this high. Do drivers swear on the radios? One of the engineers I know does. It's one of the Alpine engineers swears and it beeps it out. So there is some swears, but I've not seen any drivers. 
Um, uh, Russell won our first race. Yeah, Russell won. Bashir got fourth. Ladies and gentlemen, you join us here in Jeddah with just 24 seconds left of this Q3 session. There has been a lot of drama so far. Right now, the Ferraris locking down the front row, but the Red Bulls, they are inevitably going to be chasing that. And everyone's outside underdog favourites, Haas, are also in with a shout a pole. George Russell currently sitting in P3. We're currently on board here with Max Verstappen. He will be one of the first drivers to cross the line to conclude this session. Currently down in eighth place, needs to improve massively has one of the Ferraris directly behind him for company as well. How are things going to shake up here? We're going to, well, see in just a moment as Verstappen comes around the final corner. He was eight temps down Leclerc after his initial run. Can he improve? Can he get himself on pole? He can put himself in second. Leclerc crosses the line, does not improve on his time. Next to cross the line is going to be the two Alpines. First and foremost, Alonso blocked on his first flying lap. Improves there to go fifth fastest. Hamilton could only park and put himself seventh. Ocon crosses in ninth. Perez going to be well crossing the line soon. Signs can't get better than Verstappen. He ties the time, but Verstappen set his time quicker. Perez, the last man you expect to upset things at the front. He crosses the line. He's 10th. And now it's all on George Russell, who crosses the line, improves, but can't find himself any higher than fourth. As we're going to head into an interesting, interesting race at Jeddah. Red Bull, the very uncharacteristic performance from Sergio Perez, really giving us an indicator as to just how tight the midfield is this time around this season. Oh, how good was that? Did anyone, I mean, everyone, I look over going, how good was that? I look over, everyone's writing Sag because George didn't get on the podium and, uh, well, top two. And you guys wanted it. Look at Leclerc's times. Will we get a car on the top two of quali? No. No. I'll tell you what, the time difference is crazy between the drivers, like across all the sessions. Yeah, Carlos and Max uh, tied times, but Max set his time first, so he finishes ahead. That happens very, very occasionally in real life. Not that often. Teo out. Teo, Teo is the youngest driver on the grid. He's a child. Leave my child alone. Is it a medium hard race or a hard medium race? Hmm... Hmm. I think hard medium. Should we get a new prediction going, chat? Do you want do you want a new prediction? Mo mods. Mods. If we shout mods loudly enough, maybe they'll be summoned. I don't know what we do the prediction on. Chat, what do you want the prediction on? Russell was so good on his tyres last time out. We could really afford to push him. Chat, pro tip. If you write mods in all caps, they'll set up a prediction. Oh, it's okay, Gendo. Um, what could we go with? What could we go with? I think it's a one-stop race. It's just a case of how you want to order it. Right, chat, I know what we're going to do. Been a while. Will we have a safety car or red flag? It has to be a full safety car, not a VSC. This is one for people who like chaos. I mean, Jeddah is a place where if you're going to have safety cars, they tend to happen at Jeddah. Could Russell get back-to-back -back wins? He starts fourth. Hey, Mag and Mika Racing. Yeah, valid point. That does increase the odds, I feel like, of a safety car. Chat, predi uh, prediction is live. I, apparently, Twitch is having some issues at the moment, so some of you haven't been earning channel points today. I can only apologise for Twitch being broken. I've, I've, like, if I had a phone line to Twitch right now, I'd call them on stream and ask them what's going on. But they, they blocked my number. They blocked my number, so it's not happening.
Big bet placed. How much have people put on the line here? 100k on no by Adam B. I mean, no safety car is big. I'll be honest, chat. The setup confidence doesn't really matter. Like, the actual difference is, like, four individual attributes on a driver's, like, bits. Like, it's so small. Hey, Kummer, how's it going? Right. I feel like I can start the race and watch the cutscene, and the race won't start before the prediction ends. With the sky is Safety car or red flag? Get it set up. Any surprises. Are we going to see George Russell? And here we've got George Russell. So beautiful. The front Lovely the eyelashes. But we know the race order can change a lot during those first few quarters. Doesn't do his eyelashes justice. There's the other hat. There's the They're safety car. The the <laughs> I hate the fact I've laughed at that. Cars between them and the podium. Will their hard work pay off today? The actual gain you get from practice in this game isn't worth the time it takes, the chat. It's so minute. Like, if you enjoy it, obviously do it. But it's not something that's going to make or break a save game. Position lost! Position lost, absolutely not. Perez is down in 13th. What happened to Perez? Did... So now we are P11. I'm going to harvest through here then, back straight. We deploy. Georgie Russell. Oh, did Perez have a penalty from last race? Oh, of course, yeah, because he couldn't serve it. So he takes a free place. And that makes more He's sense. Copy. Go on, George. Go on, George. Have a go on him. Referee. He just squeezed him. Jack, what do you say to Toto's breakfast order on the Netflix doc? I actually can't remember. What did he order? I'm very opinionated when it comes to food. Come on. Sometimes my opinions are incorrect. Oh my lord, what is happening? Magnuson in 15th, by the way. Bono jump ship to partner with Max. That is disgusting. If that happened in my save game, I'm deleting the save and starting again. That might be an overreaction. Georgie Russell? Georgie Russell? What can he do? Can he get the move done on signs? He's going to try. Oh, my word. Stick it out there. Stick it out there. You got this. Oh, my word. George Russell, I'm in love. Chat, I think I'm actually in love. Is this a, is, is it a problem? Doing a good job. He's up to third. The man races. You just have to give him clean air. Do I get one plus, uh, 1k plus views in the height of FM? I looked into it poorly drawn, Arsenal, because I was curious about this too. When Football Manager first comes out, there might be two or three streams where I had over a thousand viewers average. But like the love in these F1 Manager streams is just bonkers. <laughs> there is a new Teo out trend emerging. It is hashtag flush the poo. It's about P-O-U. Very, very clever. You know what, chat? That's very witty by you. And yeah, Rafataf, this track in real life is pretty anxiety-inducing to watch. Like, it's one of the fastest circuits with these walls. Like, it's crazy. It was Dan's work. Why does that not surprise me? I mean, George Russell looks like he can race. He was struggling so much with Mercedes. I'm wondering why. Was his car just really... Was their car just really bad? And so it was made up for by Lewis Hamilton and Russell's driving. DRS enabled. Is that, is, that the, is that the reality? And now that they've got Magnussen, we're now seeing the true ability of the car. I think that could be it. That's my conspiracy. Because K-Mag is down in 15th. He's only got an Alpha Tari, two Williams and two Astons behind him. There's a merch line in it, Jack. I want 10%. I can give you 4.5. G 
chat, how am I going to spend my £30 at one on the lottery? Is it just boring to order a Chinese takeaway tomorrow for lunch? Or like a... Or maybe like a curry. Like a nice curry, though. There's a really... I don't want to say posh curry house, but it's not somewhere I normally order curry from. Chat's just like KFC. KFC. I just feel like I could get like a nice takeout to what have with the F1, you know? What's my Chinese order? Anything like duck and noodles. It's weird though. Like I'm definitely one of those people who you know there's the Gavin and Gavin and Stacy scene about around it. But I'm the kind of person that, with, like, when it comes to Chinese orders, I'm like, let's just order one of the set meals and we can have a bit of everything. You know, I don't really have a go-to order. If that makes sense. I don't know if that makes me, like, a terrific person. But it's just how I operate. I mean, Russell got squeezed by Verstappen there. There's, like, an animation that can play on that corner. Get some Italian food for Monza. Does, does Domino's count? Yeah, take it easy. Yeah. I'll tell you what. All of Russell's radio messages, because they're taken from when he was in Williams, they just sound bad. Apparently, apparently Domino's doesn't count, but it's pizza. I'll have it with the thin crust and everything. So it's proper authentic-like. Yeah, duck and pancakes with fried fried, uh, fried uh, egg rice is good. With, like, Chinese food, I don't really ever have a preference. Like, I'll just try anything. Although, is it weird if I get Chinese? I always get sweet and sour chicken balls. But I just prefer the, chi the battered chicken balls without the sweet and sour sauce. Probably doesn't surprise you when I reveal that. I kind of just eat them like KFC. Is that controversial? Is that some kind of... Crime against food, possibly. It's just like a mini KFC that comes with the Chinese. You tell me like KFC. No comment, Your Honor. No, co I will not comment on my thoughts on KFC. Oh my word! What's going to happen here? I feel like there's cr there's got to be a safety car or red flag here. There's going to be something happen. Georgie Russell sniffing. He's sniffing. He's like a Jack Russell. He's been get round the Ferrari here. They got they got absolutely wrecked going out that corner. Verstappen's vanished up the road, by the way. Do everything you can, mate. What about Subway? I I like. We went for a wall there. We won't comment on it. It's fine. My go with Subway. I love the more recent stuff they do. Is it like the nacho chicken thing? Do people know what I'm on about? I can't remember what it's called now, but it's like little triangles of chicken. This track is so scary. In real life, I feel like it's it's one of the few tracks which when I watch in real life, I'm like, one day there is going to be a horrific accident. Like, it's just where the walls are and stuff, it's just crazy. Like, you see in this game, they actually opened it up a bit more. And it's like how high speed these corners are, but you can't see what's coming around the corner. Like, if someone's crashed off to the letter, you wouldn't know about it until you've already gone around the corner. Like, it, it, it's just, it's not open enough. Like, you need to have visibility, like, on the right here to be able to see this wall. Like, it's mad. Uh, we are in season three now, Schnee, yes. We picked up George Russell, who is driving like an absolute madman, it would seem. But yeah, this track is scary to watch. And they've opened in real life. I don't know if this video, like, I don't know if the game has the latest changes because they introduced them kind of late on. But they move, they have moved some of the walls, but there's still some that you look at and it's like that is bad. I need clean air. I cannot do anything. I can't give you clean air, mate. It's lap six. <laughs> I can't wait to hear him on lap one mention his clean air every time. I can't give you the clean air that you want, mate. I'll tell you what, Pacheri's getting held up in this train. We are faster than these cars. If a safety car happened, I might pit Pacheri and go to a two-stopper. Didn't he do that race one? He did do that race one, yeah. Turn one. George Russell gets overtaken. I need clean air. It's like, George, it's turn one of lap one. Keep 
focus. Let's see what happened there. Now just focus on the hats. They've locked up, but that could have been much worse. We didn't lose much time because the group's so group bunched up. I mean, he's running in last. There's not even anything. If he's on the mediums, I could be like, I'll pit him for hards to the end. I can't even do that. Ah, oh, Pacha! Mon frere! Pourquoi? Pourquoi? We've got DRS here. Save fuel. Probably. DRS here plus the squeeze. Leclerc just loses all his speed. Go, 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 go. Yeah, okay, this was our chance to break the Ferraris and we actually got it. Massive! DRS on that straight is so good. There's this great driver called Mick. You should consider getting for Teo. I will have it, I'll have it known that Bashag ended up hiring the drive. That Bashag finished higher in the driving championships than George Russell. Oh, and that's a crash. We can take a look now. Now let's look at this. Here's George Russell. And that's an off. And a big off. That might be a retirement. Oh my god, right. Oh my god. Are you are you taking the Michael? Hards to the end. It's the only thing I can do. Both our drivers are running in last and second to last chat. <sighs> I've just I've just told I've just said he's gonna pit. You have to tell me again. There's only so much I can do. What do you mean? You just spun into a wall, you imbecile. I'm fine. I'm fine. He wouldn't have spun if you gave him clean air, Jack. Billy, don't test me. Don't test me. Don't test me. Oh, he's driving so slow with that damage. It was turn one. Everything's fine. At least he gave Pesher DRS. Get me out of this race. Alright. You're making these last to the end, mate. So, uh, good luck. Have fun. Uh, I didn't check. What did you? No, I did change his nose. I did change his nose. It was an auto fix because it was terminal damage. But the mind, we can't fix the chassis or suspension. He did hit the wall quite hard. Pass with an Good news though, Pacher's on a tear, so he he can recover. He's got clean air now. You know what, chat? You're not wrong. <laughs> Yellow flag. Yellow flag. People are pitting. Sounds like someone's locked up. Let's have a look. Now, just watch the Mercedes here. Well, they've locked up. Kevin Matheson locked up. About that. I hope I did a good Home Alone bike face there for my for my pure shock. I mean, Pacheco's on a recovery drive, but he's got to stop. My only hope is that everyone else is too stopping. And he can make these hards last. I think that is literally the play. What causes a lockup? It could be temperatures, it could be the driver pushing too hard. I'm so sad. 
I'll tell you what, you whacked the engine too, I think. Oh my god, look at the wear difference here between Russell's and Pacher, so I'm just hitting the wall there. Setup confidence chat only affects uh, four attributes on the driver. Like, it's really, really minute. Like, on it, honestly, if you value your time, practice just isn't worth it. If a safety car happens, we're fine. If a safety car happens, there's lots of cars that are going to have to two-stop. Whereas Russell is just going to be conserving these hards for a long, long time. I reckon, chat, I just shouldn't have done the, the one more race, you know. I think that was the issue. I one more raced it. How's Russell's lap times? He's currently lapping a 134.6. Considering all the damage he's got, it's not that bad. We need a safety car, really. But, I mean, he's not pitting again. Some of the leaders from the race are pitting. I think these guys are going to one-stop. I mean, Pache, uh, Russell is catching Mick. I'm, af I'm afraid... For the Mick fans out there, I'm afraid to say your boy is getting ca caught up by a man who is running on maximum conserve with damage to his chassis and suspension. What happened to Russell? He spun out and hit a wall. I'm fine. I'm not, I'm not bitter. I'm not upset. Every, everything's fine. Oh my god, that's a safety car. That's what we wanted. Well, not what we wanted, but you... <laughs> that sounds awful to say it like that. It's what we needed. What happened? Now watch this. Is it Magnuson? Is this Magnuson? Was that Magnuson? Goodness me, that is a serious collision. Was it Kevin or was it Valtteri? It was Magnussen! It was Magnussen. Why has the game started paused here? That's weird. Uh, we'll pit Pichette. I'm not going to pit um, uh, George. There's, no, there's nothing to pit him on to, chat. Oh, mind you, Pichette can't really run the hard, the mediums to the end from here. You only get one set of hards. I can't, I can't pit. How do I cancel the pit this lap? Pit options. Cancel pit stop. We can't pit this lap. I think trap position is way more important here for Pusher. Jack, you've literally been willing for cars to take each other out now for three years. You can't pretend like you have this conscious now. I can. I can. Chat, the prediction has been paid out. I hope you're all happy now. I assume the safety car is going to stay up for one more lap. Energy's good. Yeah, we should have one more lap of the safety car. I'm hoping George can actually catch up here. I don't really want to push his tyres, but I've got to. So he gets... Yeah, he'll make it. Because he gets backed up in a second. Safety guy in this lap. Safety guy in. Do what you can to keep the tyres... Is George cool. actually going to catch that pack? He should catch it. He should catch it. It's close enough. Oh my god, chat. This is gonna. There's gonna be another crash immediately, isn't there? Did Russell catch it? Okay, Russell caught the the group. Oh my god, that was a crazy start. Hey, Freds. I had so many more driver slash team slots than my, than my save did. We're in, we are in season three. The title might be out of date now, I realise. 
But this is season three now. Massive Teo. Good job. New prediction. New prediction. Will I get a car on the points? Pasher has still got a pit. Bear in mind. So Perez ahead of us is going to pit again. Alonso, Bottas, Gasly, Signs are all going to have to pit again. They've, in fact, they've not pitted once yet. Good, this is actually really good. Pasher's in a decent spot. I think we look for an overcut on a lot of these other cars. Why do I want to pu push Russell here and put him on the softs later? Because he, uh, he's he got damage. His actual race pace just isn't very good. There's going to be so many cars in front of us who have to pit again. Whereas I think he can make his tyres last to the end. With a bit of management. But ultimately, he's probably not going to get in the points anyway. But I think if I pit for softs, push and pit for softs, he's guaranteed. We won't make up the... the we'd have to be going... Because of the pit stop time, we'd have to go in a second quicker than we currently are. And with all this traffic, that's just not going to happen anyway. Good job. I want to retire, Russell. Chat. I know, I, I know what parts we'll need to take. So unlocked up. Safety car again. There's another safety car. This is, I mean, this is both bad and great. <laughs> both bad and great. Excellent. Okay, can I pit for Teo this lap and it'd be fine? The thing is, the group's so much more packed up because the safety car was so recent. What happened? It's not worth pitting here. Because if you pit, you're going to come out of the back and have loads of traffic that to get through. Terrible news for the team. That's the second safety car. Thing is, chat. If I pit George, I, I don't know what you exp what you think I'm going to pit him onto. Because we're still early. We're still early on in this race. Like I'm just going to be pitting him onto mediums that have to be preserved as much as the hards do. It's just it's not really worth it. Like, it's too early to run mediums to the end from here. And for Pache, if we pit here, because everyone's so close, you're not actually going to save anything by pitting. You're just going to come out of the back because the pack's so close. The mediums are much more marginal. Like with George, it makes more sense to try and make these last, knowing that there's going to be cars in front that I have to pit. And we still have the option to push, I think, a bit harder later. There's lots of cars that are going to two-stop here. And they're not going to pit. Trap position is way more important. And with Russell, I just, like... The, the, that's why I won't put Teo, but with Russell, like the mediums don't really offer a big advantage. Like the the difference is so tiny. The mediums are not a better tire though for the race distance left. Chat. I'm just gonna pause here. Like if I go on the safety car, if I go on the safety car. If I got on the mediums now with Russell to make them last, bear in mind it would have been two laps ago, I would have had to be in maximum preserve mode anyway. Whereas these current hards are getting made to last longer and longer. Like We're going to be ending up above this line because the safety car is just allowing us to save the tyres. Sure we get a good uh, I have seen the mods people have made for Etsy to adjust tyre pace. They're cool in concept, but the AI just doesn't adapt to them. Like, I did some testing with them, and the AI is just completely broken by it because the AI isn't programmed to work with those tyres. Hamboy, thank you for sitting with the Prime. I appreciate the love, mate.
That was a short safety car as well. It was only one lap, I think. Because the incident happened on turn one. I don't think we would have caught up um, with the other cars. Kenichiwa. No more Kenichiwas. Oh, Schumacher's overtaken Russell. There's Schumacher. I'm sad. I'm sad. It's a, it's a dark day. Good news, though. Pacher's still getting racy. He's just, he's just got Perez. I wonder if Verstappen's going to try and get to the end now. I imagine he is. Russell, this is on conserved tyres. He, he needs to be on conserved tyre uh, tyres. Like, his car's damaged. To be honest, with Russell, it's just a case of keeping him out to get the XP. With our car and how it wears down, we always take one extra ERS engine and gearbox um, unit. So, I know that by right, retiring here, we don't actually end up saving that much. I mean, ultimately, we have both drivers running 18th and 19th, <laughs> like, about 20 laps ago. It's gonna be, it was always going to be rough to turn this into something. But Pacheco's... Pichot's putting in a pretty decent drive. I need the pack to spread out now more because I think there's some cars behind us that are going to not stopping again. My dream scenario here is that the four cars who haven't stopped ahead of us all stop and then we can just tail Verstappen for a few laps. Russell is just struggling for pace though. I mean, we are asking him to conserve and stuff, but like... His car is his car is medically fucked. I believe is the terminology. Yes, enabled. The big thing is going to be when do those other guys pit? That's going to be the thing that matters. We've just got to gamble and run long with, um, with Russell. Leclerc overtook us on fresh tyres. I'm fine. Everything's fine. A red flag would be good right now. Are these guys still not pitting? I don't realize how much work more bad Pacher's tyre wear was. But apparently it's bad. We're probably going to pit for Pacher in two laps. Oh, Magnussen's in front, chat. Munker S. Chimpanzee. Fantastic username. <laughs> Thank you for some with the prime. Kevin Magnussen's back, everyone. His death was greatly exaggerated. Here he is in his natural habitat, getting in the way. These two cars swap drivers swapped teams in this off season. Now they're racing wheel to wheel for 16th. This is what dreams are made of. No overtake. Okay, the cars in front pitted. If I'd saved my battery, it would have been fine. Oh, we got squeezed. Sad. So because all these guys pitted, I think they're going to end up coming out behind Norris because they pitted so soon after the safety car. You lose a lot more positions. Mediums to the end for Pacher. Yeah, like Gasly and Bottas were running right at the front. They've just pitted for their only stop. They're now running at the back just because of the timings of safety cars. And a lot of these other cars in the middle that are ahead of them aren't going to pit again. So they ju they've just got absolutely screwed by the, the safety car timings. 
But that's right, with a one stopper, that is always your gamble. With a one stopper, like the safety car is your worst enemy. Because it will just completely wreck your race by closing windows that you thought you had. Uh, Hamilton retired. Yeah, he got hit by Magnussen. I just realised that Magnussen in Hamilton's old car. Punted him out. Oh, God. Sonoda and Magnussen are fighting. You know Russell's damage is bad because he's struggling to get past the Williams. Okay, Pichet and Alonso are pitting along with signs just ahead. Can we get Alpine in the pits? Can we get Alpine? I want to believe. Let's get him in the pits. That. What's happened? We held, got held there for the Red Bull. Oh, we're in last. Ah. Hmm. Well, that's... Uh, I mean, the good news is we're alongside the likes of Perez, Bottas and Gasly and Sainz. So all the people we raced against last race are back here, which shows it was just a bit of dumb luck with the safety car timings, really. I mean, some of these guys in front might still have to pit, but it's going to be rough. That back-to-back -back safety car was killer, chat. It was just too early to pit for. But Russell's now in 12th. Mixing the points! Bloody hell. Is George going to make these tyres last? I think he is. Oh, is it, they might not need to pit. Magnussen just up the road, though. It's crazy how much a safety car at a bad time um, wrecks a one-stop. Uh, I don't think Williams have scored points yet this save. In two seasons, I've not seen... Yeah, they've definitely not. The question is going to be, can Russell make these tyres last to the end? Do Norris, Ricardo, and Joe and Albon have to pit with very similar hards? Because if they pit, Russell could still end up like P6. If he can make them last. Mick just hit Kevin Magnussen. Don't do it, Kevin. Why do I feel like Kevin's going to lock up here? They're going to be reunited in the wall. I imagine Magnussen's got damage from when he punted Hamilton. Go on, Mick. Be free, Mick. Be free. Defend like a lion. I'll chat. They're racing. Is anyone else nervous? Also, I never use this camera angle enough. This angle is really dynamic. But I feel like I'm playing a first-person shooter with just a giant model in the close corner of my screen. Does anyone else feel the same? This is like a camera angle I could use for five seconds, but it's just not very good for actually watching it. You know this race is going wait great when we're watching two different drivers look. It's not gone to plan, I'll admit it. Aw, Mick held it for a little while, chat. He was doing well. I don't think Aston have scored points before. So that'd be pretty big for them if they can. Pacher and Perez are racing for last place, so that's where our day's at. I mean, the fact that Red Bull have someone at the back makes me feel better about the fact we're struggling. I mean, the last thing we want now, I was going to say is a safety car. Yeah, we don't really want a safety car now. Because it would allow Bottas and co on medium tyres to catch it with Nut Russell. Oh, okay, those guys have pitted. Russell is up in eighth. Chat, they've all pitted. 
They didn't think they could make the tyres last, and their tyre wear was better than Russell's. That's concerning. Doesn't mean Pochere's in 14th, though. George just has to try and hang, like, just make his tyres last as long as he can, just hang them out to dry. And I hope they get through the night. Don't know what that analogy is. The, the issue with making this more aggressive is it does impact tyre wear. But I think we might go away with it. Mick is actually running in seventh right now, chat. Like, it's a real seventh place. It's not a fake seventh place. Williams's pace is not good. They've got very lucky with the safety cars today. Right, we're going to get past Mick here. Defend. I've had enough of this nice little fairy tale, but I need a Williams or two behind me to block Signs, who's just two and a half seconds behind. Oh my god, Magnuson's getting mug mugged off by all the Williams. I went on defend there. I was meant to be on deploy. We don't talk about it, chat. You didn't see anything. It's fine. Just showing Bot Bottas to Williams in season one. In six more depth. Look, look, every time you get to P9 or better, I have to pay him 1.8. Ah, hopefully you don't run into any issues with the debt. I assume you're out of debt now. I've seen Mick drive. He doesn't use his eyes. He visualizes the track in detailed rendering, completely in his mind. He has a bi biological eagle vision. His godlike perception highlights all drivers within light years. His eyes are just closed to see overtakes driver after driver. That is a that is a beautiful copy pastor. If that isn't added to a Mick command, I will be upset. On behalf of chat. How did the first race go? We got first and fourth, uh, Rasmussen. But then it all went wrong in this race. Both our drivers spun out in the first 10 laps. We were at the back. Russell's running with terminal damage here. And he's got to go really long to make anything work. Energy if you need it. Cover it. I've used all the battery, and we've not made up any ground. Although, Mick, don't... Mick, that's an illegal manoeuvre! He's broken the law. Arrest this man, officer! Bashir's just set the fastest lap, by the way. I know he crashes a lot, but he's quite quick. Are Williams about to score their first points of the save game? Oh, Pacher's got it, Perez. I mean, could Pacher catch Signs and Co? Pacher might be able to get the points. Oh, chat, I have a dilemma here. If I told George Russell to push, I think I can get him in front of K Mag in fifth place, and then I could get him to back up everyone to try and give Pacher a chance of making moves. But if I make him push initially, I feel like he ruins his tyres and can't finish top 10 himself. But the question is, do I trust Pacher to be able to make the moves through enough cars to make up what Russell's got now? And the answer is probably not. Okay, the Williams haven't got DRS from Magnussen here. We might be able to get them both with only deploy on the straight. Use energy. Cover it. Oh, this is the straight to make a move. Goodbye, Bottas. Where did Bottas? Where did Bottas come from then? Still a lot to play They've caught us. They've caught us behind. The guys on the mediums have caught us. The Williams have held us up so badly. It's a race position game. It's a pissing disaster. The Williams. They're so slow. Yeah, take it easy. Come in. Oh, they're lapping like a second quicker. I 
It's just a great big shame. I mean, our car is broken. That's why we can't actually get the overtake done. At this point, we're just trying to protect the Williams. We're trying to protect Mick. Uh, Pacheco could definitely potentially over catch up with uh, Russell. All it takes is a safety car, and Russell will be able to save his tyres enough to make it to the end. Everything will be fine. This is good to come on. This is good, but we need to make the move here, and we have no battery. Carlos Sainz is behind. I don't like it. I don't like it. What do you mean your battery's empty? Maybe we should have brought Duracell instead of Energizer. Not an advertised stream, but Duracell batteries are better. Fight me. Um, Magnuson and Bottas are in fifth and sixth. I feel sick. Pacher's lapping quickly, but he's got to push hard to stand any chance of getting in the points. Oh my god, what happened there? Oh, was it Mick? Was that Mick? Mick! Mick! I think there's been a up. We Mick! Take a look now. Right, watch this. There's Schumacher. And there's the lockup. Mick! He almost got away from them entirely. I've seen Mick drive. He doesn't use his eyes. He drives into walls. That's the new copy pasta. Oh, chat. They actually had a chance. The thing is, Pacher can now feasibly get points. I think my best bet is to push with Russell here. And just fuck up his tyres. Push with Russell, try and get ahead of these guys, then hold them up to uh, to help uh, Pusher catch them. I don't really want to do this, but I think I don't think we get tenth with Russell anyway. Oh my god, there's no, there's four wide. What's happening? There's no way all these cars fit. Okay. You're doing a good job. You're doing a great job. Now we hold up. Now we protect the Williams. Now we protect the Williams. We are all Williams on this day. Is that a new race position for Haas? All right, Pichet, you've got to push. So now Pichet's catching this train of cars that are being held up by George. Should get DRS this lap too. George was going to get overtaken, so I think the best thing to do is make him a bit of a sacrificial lamb to give Pacher a good chance. Go on, Yuki, get points, be free, run on, little one. Okay, we're in DRS here. There is a Russell train. We're still... Yuki's an issue. I've got to get past Yuki. Oh, my God. Yuki, Yuki, what are you doing, son? The Williams is not helping itself. Oh, my God, this is madness. Pacher's at the back of the pack, by the way. Good job. Keep pushing. Okay, Russell's held them up for as long as he can intentionally. There's no point in leaving him on it now. This is all about can Pacher make moves? How is Pacher at driving? If we even get, like, 10th here, it's probably a win, considering we were running plum last. Ooh, 
Russell's still trying to get past. I think we just try and get past Yuki. We think we can lean on the tyres more. <sighs> Russell's never making it to the end, is he? Is the issue. I think there's a pretty good chance Pichet can get points here. This is madness because there's a Williams and then Russell just slowing down everyone. Okay, Sainz has got by. I'm hoping that Russell's going to move across here. Russell, move across. Don't fight teammate. Thank you. This is P10 at the moment, or P10. Oh my god, Russell just got scrunched in the middle. Okay, Pichet's in the points. Pichet is in the points, in the points. Pichet is in the points. That she has worked Shout as well on, as we could have on. hoped for. Russell is just done now, though. You, you've run your race. You, you've sacrificed it. There is no reason to pit Russell. We just run Russell to the end and hope that he makes it. If I pit him, he doesn't get anything. If I leave him out, there's hope. Is basically it. If we pit him with seven laps left, he doesn't co he doesn't make up the difference. Our best option is just basically just leave him out and see what happens. Push hard He's already crashed once. His car's already wrecked. Oh, the Williams is just slow. Look how far Gasly is up the road ahead of the Williams, by the way. Please move out the way. That is a mental move, Teo. But it worked, so I, w I won't criticise. Good job so far. I mean, Russell could still... I want to say he could still do it. It'd, have to, it'd be the biggest miracle ever. For sure, up in ninth is good, though. Russell has been on these hards for so long. He's been on them since lap eight. <laughs> Will Yuki hold on to a point for Williams chat? Mix down in 17th. That's just a great big shame. Even on Harvest, though, we're keeping up with this signs. Uh, I'm very curious to see signs lap times compared to Gasly's. We know our car's fast. I'm wondering if we could catch the Mercs in five set laps. Yeah, Vettel's in fourth, chat, and Ocon's in third. That's gone under the radar. They've definitely benefited from all the, the pits and stuff. Oh, no, Russell got overtaken by Perez. Oh, Sonoda, chat. Sonoda. So no, just down in 13th. With where the track it, uh, traffic is, if I pit Russell, he doesn't block any of the others. He would just come out here. I mean, all it takes is Alonso and Perez to hit each other. And easy, easy points for Russell. Do you have any priority in terms of researching parts? I would always fo focus crypt on um, stuff that is going to be impacted by regulation changes. Other than that, I find in general underfloors are very, very good. To kind of research and work on. But Cher has been eating his tyres. We've been pushing him for laps.
to uh, push this like with Pichet. It's like a lap too soon. Gasly's got Magnussen. Hey, Choco Milk, how's it going? This has been a pretty weird race for us, but to be honest, it's looking like we could get a pretty good outcome from a race that was looking like a massive write-off. I mean, Russell is just gonna, his tyres are gonna die, but we'll just see what happens. <laughs> if we get a red flag now, we can put Russell on softs to the end. Push more if you can. Yeah, I mean, Russell was in fourth before the crash. We could have had a... I mean, Russell looked really good in quali. Really, really good in quali. Oh, yeah. K-Mag's tyres are about to drop off a cliff. Bashem might be able to get another spot here. I'm on deploy to try and break the DRS to signs, but I think that's going to be a pretty big challenge. Uh, Russell's control's really good. Russell has really good stats. That's why I was a little bit surprised he uh, spun. Okay, Sainz is going to have DRS here. As much as I don't want to be in deploy, I just have to stay in it. I mean, any points from here would be pretty good. So we have four laps to go. He might get us here. Up the inside on this section is really, really strong. Although, oh, take it all back. That is very surprising. But she's in a good spot. Do you think your drivers crash more because they don't practice? No, practice doesn't actually have, practice. The effect of practice is literally a, 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 like a, four single attribute boosts. In terms of that is what the difference between setup confidence is. Like setup confidence gives you such a small boost. It like basically boosts the driver's stats very slightly. But the difference is so minute. It's like four stats total. That it's just not worth your time. Even all, just thought I'd share that carousel rulership is an anagram of Russell and Pashier's names combined. We're not a sham team. We are a great team run by a supreme leader. B. I feel like I am the supreme ruler of the, uh, I don't know, the supreme ruler of Haas. Looking very supreme in 8th and 13th, leave me alone. I will say, I'm amazed that Russell's made these tyres last so long. More charge. Magnuson's tyres are gone here. We get him this lap. 26%. He is... That was why I didn't pit when he pitted for the mediums on Pacher. This is an easy overtake here. Push on Russell. Oh, shall we just do it? Let's see what happens, chat. Go, George, go. Do everything you can, mate. Taylor's thinking about it. He picked because he put in Hamilton off the track. Yeah, but the same, when that happened, someone was telling me I should be pitting with Pacher for mediums at the same time. Like, whilst the safety car was out. But... It, they wouldn't have lasted. Uh, this is Jeddah, uh, Irish Virginian. I mean, I'll be honest. I think seventh is the best we can hope for here. Signs is going to be right up behind us. 
Uh, the AI does conserve, Jimmy. I've seen I have seen the AI do 54 laps um, in Baku. The AI will conserve when it can, but the issue is the Magnuson's not got very good attributes in stuff like well, his smoothness. I've seen the AI do a what? Well, pit under a red flags at a Baku lap one, and then run hard to the end. The AI definitely needs to attack more. I agree with that. Like at the start of races, the, they should be turning up the tires and aggressiveness more. You can definitely make up a lot of positions at the start just by turning stuff up. I think Gasly's going to be just out of reach. We are actually catching him, but it's just not enough. We might get one attack in the last set, so I probably should be more concerned about Carlos Sainz, really. I, my only hope here is that the Aston Martin boxes signs in. This will be the last lap. Sad. Sad. He's just faster. We're currently P8. Verstappen and uh, Leclerc are battling at the front chat. Advance the race position. Still a lot to play for. Yeah, I've seen the AI pit early down with that percentage. I think the issue is is that some of the AI is modelled around um, the drop off. So, like in real life, like your tyres at hundred percent obviously aren't as quick as they are at fifty percent. Like there is a performance difference there, where in game there isn't. And like the way the AI acts is kind of like how it would act if the, if it was like more of a curve of performance as opposed to it being kind of just a linear like it's fine it's fine it's fine fuck <laughs> when it gets to seven percent oh is Verstappen gonna do this is Verstappen gonna no Leclerc's gonna hold on on the finish line Rocher's on deploy to end can he catch with the little deploy I tried to save for this sector. Believe. That's Leclerc. Charles Leclerc is today's winner. Go Teo, go, go Teo, go. He's not good. He's not making a move. Not a good race. Oh, signs beat Gasly at the end. Heartbreak. Heartbreak. But we did get points. What was the was the prediction? Would I get points? I can't remember. I mean, that was an awful race in terms of um, the drivers spinning out when they did. Bad safety cars. I want to notice the VSC doesn't maintain the correct gaps between cars. Yeah, I have. Right, let me play out on this prediction. Chat, are you ready to do a raid somewhere? I appreciate you guys all hanging out. I appreciate it super late. Yeah, Ocon, uh, will Jack get a car in the points? Yes. Yes, he will. Ocon and Vettel. P3 and P4. Oh, I mean, look at that. You can tell when a race has been a bit weird with safety cars affecting strategy when, like, certain cars make up 11 places. Uh, I mean, the recovery from Pacher was good. He set the best lap. He actually gained three places from when he started. It's a technically great race for Pacher. Thumbs up. Kevin, 11th. We, we were topping the constructors for one race. That was good. Uh, Russell was a fairly easy choice, I feel like, for our driver, Hutchmaster. But I made it very difficult for myself. <laughs> is how I would describe the Russell situation. Oh, we have X. What are we putting it in, chat? Accuracy. Control to stop him locking up and spinning. Cornering. I mean, his overtaking is a bit cack, but then his defending's bad too. I, re I realize the face is covering it. Let me update the face. There you go. I feel like in qualifying, he's looked pretty good so far. I think maybe just up in his consistency is the way to go. 
then we work on his accuracy, control, and smoothness, try and get them all to 95. I think that is the most logical thing. Bashir's got a point. Uh, we'll put in reactions again. Oh, my goat! He's only 20. He's only 20. Remember that, chat. He's, he's a growing lad. He'll get better. A difficult ratio. You're telling me our driver's crashed into the wall twice. Make sure. We, what, what have we got damaged? Oh, the underfloors. I need to build more underfloors. Uh, we can do two. That's fine. Still making some pretty good p uh, money, chat. Like, each race. But, I mean, right now, it's only two races in, right? But I feel like we're in an okay spot. It was, it's been a weird two races, though, to be fair. That last race shuffled things up massively. Uh, expectation for this season is third again. Long-term objective. Constructors champion. By 2026, they want me to be the best team in the world. That's pressure, isn't it? That's, that's, that, that, that wasn't, I didn't notice that before. That's a bit, that's a bit scarier, isn't it? We'll be fine. It'll, it'll be fine. We'll make it happen. I, I hope, otherwise, otherwise I get fired and the, the save game just ends. That, that'd be a bit sad, wouldn't it, really? Right, gang, it is late for me. It's almost 3 a.m. I appreciate everyone hanging out so much today. I hope you've had fun in the stream. It's been an absolute blast, as always. You guys are amazing. I will be live again tomorrow, so if you want to check out more F1 Manager, similar time and place than we were live to today, for today, I'm sure we'll be talking a bit about the Grand Prix and everything else going on. Um, we will do a raid over to Suan. Where are we, are we going to raid? Where shall we raid? I've never seen there be so few streamers in the F1 manager category. There's not that many people live right now. I'm looking at it. There's PJ Sun, ex Aussie engineer. Who's he managing? Who's he managing? Let's find out. I'll go do some research here. Oh, he's got Russell and Norris at McLaren chat. I'm I'm okay with that. That's a you know what? We can go with that. Right. The raid is being kicked off, chat. They're an ex-Aussie engineer. Right now, they're live. There's 26 people in there. They've got 467 followers. Let's get them to 500 followers. We can do that. Get your copy pastas ready. Where's the Mick Schumacher one about him being able to see without using his eyes or whatever it was? What happened to that pasta chat? Can someone, can someone dig up that pasta? There we go. S. Marshall, thank you. Get it on your clipboard. Get it ready, chat, to put in. As we raid over to PJ Sun, uh, I appreciate you guys hanging out a turn. It's been a blast tonight. Um, I will be back live, as I said, tomorrow. Take it easy. Thank you for the support. It really does mean the world. And uh, I, have, I have nothing else left to say. So I'm just going to hit this button and hope that all the audio doesn't break like it did earlier. <laughs> Take it easy, folks. Have a good night.